Hey guys, Nova Explosion, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time, the VODs. It's about time that we load this game up again. <laughs> all right, all right. You guys could probably click out of that. I know that was a bad joke. We are back with Crash Bandicoot 4 nonetheless. It's been a minute, actually. Uh, a couple of things to note. It's been a minute since I played this game. However, it hasn't been as long as the YouTube VOD. The last YouTube VOD I had of this was back in May. May something. Back in May, I looked. I looked at the last VOD. It went up. It was dated May. Probably went up in June, but I recorded it in May. But uh, I, I played the game a bit since then, like a while ago. It's still been like four months since I touched this game. Uh, I did a few stuff off screen. I didn't really get much done off screen, just, you know, playing the game. But anyway, we are back with Crash 4, 68%. We got like almost all the gems, honestly. So we're going to continue trying to 100% the game. Uh, we are a week away from SMT5's release date, and the only playthrough I have going on is, um, is, uh, FF10, and I love FF10, but also I need a break. I need to, like, I need to stream some other stuff, appeal to a better audience. So we're gonna play Crash 4, uh, because I wanna play the game again, also I, uh, need something else to play. So, uh, where is, I wanna start getting the flashback tapes, I think that's the first thing I wanna do. How many are we missing? If we're missing any. We're missing stowing away. We're missing crash landing. Is that it? Is that all we're missing? Where's a here's a flashback thing? No, we're missing a lot more than that. Hang on, it'll tell me. It'll tell me. Never mind. No, reach flashback tapes and level. All right. Uh, what other flashback tapes are we missing? So level stats tapes. Got to make sure I know what we're missing here. Where are they? Huh. Going away and crash landed are the only ones I see. Oh, here they are. Okay, they're on the other screen. Stowing away, crash landed. Got food runs. Uh, nitro processing, toxic tunnels, cortex castle, seeing... Oh, cortex castle. Alright, uh, we're gonna start slow. We're gonna start. My goal for now is to just get all the flashback tapes and try and doing them. Let's do, uh, stowing away. I don't know if they're in the, uh, other thing. We already got all the gems here, though, so we don't have to worry about that. We literally just rushed to the end and grabbed the, uh, flashback tape. Actually, I, sh I should have put the skin on Coco. Ah, eh, we're fine. I'll put one in after. Uh, I don't know where the tape is, but we'll find it. So we don't gotta worry about, uh, boxes in this round because we already have them all. Man, is it good to be playing this again. I love this game. I, I missed playing it. I think we only did um two streams with the PS5 version? Maybe one. Actually, the May the May stream may have been the only stream with the PS5. I don't even remember, honestly. I know the first VOD was without the PS5 edition. The second one might have had the PS5 version as well as well as the third. This is only the fourth VOD I've done since uh after the playthrough. But I had I do play the game a bit off screen as well. Because I love it so much and I can't get enough. So, uh, you know, great to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Oh, I nailed it. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. No one can say otherwise. I'm a genius. I want that Aku Aku. There we go. And we move on. Where is the tape here? I do not recall. So in case anyone forgot, you have to, uh, to get the tapes, you need to, uh, oh, there's a hidden gem here, but we already got it because we got all the gems. But, um, to get the flashback tapes... You need to uh, not die and get to them. Ho oh, and Oxide. Man, Crash Bandicoot's villains are hilarious. Oh dear. There goes my death. I don't remember where the tape is here. Oh well. Uh, let me see. Jump. Doink. Oh man, isn't the Oxide? I'm pretty sure N Oxide is from the uh, racing game, the Crash Racing games, Nitro Fueled or whatever. I never played Nitro Fueled, the original or the remake. I never played either of them. I'm pretty sure that's where Oxide's from. I could be mistaken though. Oh my goodness, I forgot that was a firebox. Let's uh, restart. So we only need five more flashback tapes. Should be able to get them. No well, 
Ba, 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 ba. Yes, yes, your cart. <laughs> your cart's missing. Get over it, loser. I'm not even gonna bother with the boxes. I'll get a few, but like... I'm not even gonna bother with that. Why am I bothering if uh, I, I got all the boxes already? There's no point in bothering. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my- I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Chat, I'm a genius. I'm too good. Fine. Thank goodness I didn't get hit by that. I wasn't sure if my slide would make me get hit by that, but no. Once you slide, it just makes you crouch if you hold O. I'm not even gonna bother with the life. There's no point, because I already have all the boxes, and I don't really need lives. I'm already maxed on lives, aren't I? Yeah, I'm maxed on lives. There's literally no point. Oh, dear. Got it. That scared me for some reason. Chat, I don't know what this flashback is. I don't remember also if you can quit out of the level. I think you have to beat the level, but that's fine because we can die once we get the- Oh, you have to do this, of course. It is nice to be back with Crash Bandicoot. I've been playing a lot of RPGs lately. I haven't had much platforming time. I played Mega Man X recently. I streamed that, but uh, other than that, not too much uh, in the way of uh, playthroughs or anything platforming. So it's nice to be back with good old Crash Bandicoot. I have played the Insane Trilogy as well as the uh, original games. I played the original games first and I bought the Insane Trilogy like literally after Crash 4 came out. Haven't done them for the channel. I do plan to though. I want to get my mileage out of this game. I was thinking about doing Crash 1 soon. I want to get my mileage out of this game first. And then once I'm like, yeah, I'm either either I 100% the Crash 4 or I'm sick of it. Then I will mess with uh, the Insane Trilogy and Crash 1, 2, and 3. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm scared. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother with the bonus level. I'm too good. I'm too good. Goodbye. Now, where is the uh, flashback tape? Also, what I do know about the flashback tapes is as you get further in the level, they get very far away. Like, nowadays in these levels, they're gonna be, like, near the end. That's also something I know. So, uh, that's what Crash Bandicoot does. Oh, I remember this. Little puzzle segment we got here. That scared me. Is my tape there? I don't even know. No, there's no tape. No tape? Okay. Just making sure. Best girl coming through. I mean, Tana's best girl, actually, but, I mean, Cra Coco's been in the Crash games for a lifetime, so she's got that special place in, uh, Crash Bandicoot fandom. Where is the tape? Dude, this is really late. They really start putting these so late in the levels. I'm gonna be very upset if I die. Oh, there it is! Okay, Nova, don't screw this up. Mine. All right, we got we got a flashback tape. That's fine. All right, now we just rush to the level. If I die, I die. Because now we got the flash. Oh, we have this. I don't know why I'm spinning normally. Oh wow, we're done. That was at the very end of the level. Wow. All right, that one's done. We'll worry about the skins later because the skin the skins ties into the gems again. Uh, I have made it official. I'm going to 100% this game. We're going to do VODs until we 100% it. But however, I am going to space them out. Because if I didn't space them out, man, it'd be crazy. Let's do Crash Landed. So while we're in Crash Landed, to lower our trips, I'm going to try 100%ing the boxes here. I remember hating this level, didn't I? Didn't I hate this level? Pretty sure I hated this level. So yeah, we're gonna try getting all the boxes. I know why I didn't get much. Oh my goodness, this is so slippery. Why is this so slippery? Please, Coco, please. Thank you. Who cares about the Wumpas? I just want... Ooh, okay. 
Excuse me, bud. I'll be passing through now. I have a, uh, actually, I found a guide, actually, on Reddit. Someone made a, uh, list of all the hidden boxes in Crash 4. And that includes literally all the, uh, oh my goodness, this is so slippery. But that includes all the boxes that are very hard to see for people going through the level casually. So that'll be very interesting. But yeah. Okay. This part usually has me a little uh, spook. See it over there. Oh, do these fall? I think these fall. Yeah, I remember this uh this part spooked me out at first and I didn't want to do it for obvious reasons. Oh, that hits me, huh? Okay. Is there more over here or no? I doubt it. Here's how we're going to do it. Uh I'm going to try my best to get every box. If we do miss some, I'm going to like if I really can't find them, then I'll use that guide I was talking about. But there are some boxes. Crash 4, probably one of the things I hate most about it is the fact that they hide some of the boxes in very unforgiving spots. I feel like there's a level where they put it in a tire, which looks like somewhere you would die. That's an example. That's my one complaint with this game, is some of the box placements are actual, like, actual trash. I love this game. Also, they included a uh, counter, actually. Uh, so, if you're using the spreadsheet, uh, yeah, I'll probably put a link in the description of the VODs. But, um, at least this VOD and any VOD going forward. But what they do actually is they make a list of all the boxes. And, um, once they make a list of all the boxes, like, in every level, the hidden boxes that you likely wouldn't see. And, um, they, um, they make a little chart, too, and put, like, a counter of how, uh, I I'm gonna say this before I say it. But they put the counter of how many boxes you should have at each checkpoint, which is really, really helpful. You have no idea, dude. It's actually insanely helpful. I missed those boxes? You kidding me? I mean, I'm not... Okay. Well, like, I'd rather get the flashback tape and the, uh... All box gem in the first, uh... All in the first run. That's fine. Crash Bandicoot's about trial and error. Not expecting to do this first chance. I'm not good enough at this game where 100% this game is going to be an easy task. And this one's even harder because of how many levels there are. There's like the different perspectives. There's like the uh, inverted levels, which are cool. There's a way, there's way too many levels like padding and such. So, you know, I'm not an expert at this game by any means. Uh, hi. I want that, I want that life. Oh dear. I knew I wouldn't have made it. Why did I try it? Alright, restart. My throat is a lot better, by the way. From yesterday, it was even getting better. I do have a bit of a cold. But not enough to stop me from streaming. It's not big enough where it's going to stop me from streaming. But uh, I am still a little sick. You know. Um, for the most part, my throat is better, and I think I'll, I'll probably be better by this weekend, hopefully. It's all going pretty smoothly. Oh dear, I forget how slippery that liquid is. Alright. Think this through. Right there. Alright, don't, don't be hasty with it. That's the key, don't be hasty. Oh dear, I made it, wow. I should be given a medal for that. Oh, wait. Don't move, though, because, uh... Because, uh, this is really slippery. Can I make that? I'm gonna try it, chat. I'm gonna try it. No one can stop me. Oh, dear. Got it. Oh, dear. That was close. Dude, this... This, uh... This little liquid that looks like... This looks like Sugar Rush from Record Ralph. But this, uh, section really is really slippery. Anything up here for your boy? No? Alright. Honestly, explode it all. I don't really got patience. Plus, I have max lives, as I keep saying. So. out.
All right, this is going to be an insane uh, thing. Careful, careful. Oh, dear. I hate this. I hate this gimmick. I, I like the polar bear, but this I hate. I hate the way this thing controls. I think I remember this level being like one of my least favorites. Oh, that those are some boxes that I'm going to need. How on earth do you get those? Yeah, this level's going to be very hard to 100% the boxes. Honestly, focus on the flashback. We'll worry about the um, insanely stuff later. There's no way we're going to get... Oh, my oh, dear. Not this. Oh, th this, this, this hurts my eyes. I hate this. Yeah, I don't like this level. I don't like this level. Oh, is that the tape? That's not the tape. Of course not. The game can't be that easy. Oh, dear. Fine. Thank you. Oh, invincibility. Alright, I, I can't believe I pulled that off. Where's my tape, game? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, the tape's coming up. Alright, bonus level. I could die here. Here is fine to die. Every other place is not. Man, I am gonna hate... I already know. I'm trying to be positive about 100%ing chat, but I already know I'm not gonna want 100% this game. Because that's gonna involve getting the death relics, which are, uh, really hard. Getting every single box as well as not dying. Especially in this level, Crash Landed. Like, forget not dying. Imagine getting every box while not dying. Especially that little section. That little section they, uh... They got going on where it like you look from above oh okay you know what i'll take it i'll take it i made it i can't be mad move away oh my goodness this is so slippery take both of these i'm gonna wait to be patient very patient this is not sonic the hedgehog that was too close for comfort I got this. Oh dear. I thought I was dead. I'm a genius. I I I'm amazing. I'm too good at video games. Give me a medal. I'll take my medal. Toys for Bob. I'll take my award now for best crash player. Okay. This is a little spook. I, don't know why. I think I'm going to do it like this. Yeah. Oh, this moves back and forth. I had no idea. Okay. Didn't I get this tape? Or have I seen this tape and I didn't get it? This looks very familiar. I don't remember. No, apparently not. Anything else I should be aware of? There we go. Ooh, what's that over there? Nothing, apparently. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know I have a Kuku, but I don't want to use him recklessly. I don't care about my Wumpus. Oh, dear. Oh, nailed it. I nailed it. Oh, he, buddy, can you move? Never mind. Thank you. I haven't played this in a while. I have to remember the levels. I'm not a speedrunner. Okay. Moving on. Oh, dear. There's the tape. Okay. Nova, don't die until that tape. Once I get the tape, then dying's on the table. Oh my goodness. Alright. Forget the boxes, just like rush to the- I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just, just rush, just get it. Just grab it. Yes! It's mine. Easy. Okay. I definitely didn't get every box. But I feel like I already got more boxes. I only got one gem before. Oh, wait, are we done? Hang on. What on earth? Oh. Okay, that's not, that's not as scary as it looks. That's an example of a good hidden box. Toys for Bob, take, take notes. That's how you get a hidden box that's actually well designed. Any other hidden box that's like behind a tire that looks like you'll die from it is bad. 
that's an example of a hidden box I don't mind being in the game because like you can see it really well, it just blends in. Okay, wait till they erupt. Oh dear. I I I hesitated because they were uh they were the Wumpa boxes. Alright, I don't know what I'm panicking about. I can die again. If I die, I'm fine. I do need the death gem. However, I just have to die less than three times. Easy. Didn't get the box, but whatever. The 100 percent box room ran out a while ago. Dude, this thing's controls are so slippy. I hate it. Yeah, I haven't mentioned that I hate this level. I don't like it. Fine. Oh, never mind. Apparently not. Dude, how do you get every box here? I mean, obviously it's possible, but like... I genuinely don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't think I'll be able to get every box in this specific level. Can I dash with this? You can dash, of course, like the polar bear. That's how you do the jump stand. My mistake. Okay. Never mind. It's still really, it probably is still really hard to get all the boxes here, but um, it just got a lot more doable. Goodbye. Got a lot more doable, but it is still very difficult for your boy. I want that Akuku. -aku. Thank you. Didn't get it. Rip. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Alley you. Oh my, why would I do that? What was I thinking? Nova, what were you thinking? Simply, what were you thinking? Alright, well, I have one more chance to get this right or I'd lose the death gem. I'm getting very cocky and that's not good. I don't know if cocky is the right word, but uh, I'm not getting cocky necessarily, but I'm getting very, like, careless, I guess. Careless, because I got the tape. Whatever, though. Again, I'm focusing on the flashback. I okay. That was entirely my fault. I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, jump. That's how you're supposed to get that. Perfect, now I know. I mean, I do have to study this for when I try to get all the boxes here. So, you know, better late than never. Alright, don't dash here. That's the key. Okay. I pressed R2, but the game was like, nah, you didn't, dude. Nothing to worry about. I gotta give Coco a skin. I wanna give her a skin after this level. That. I missed a box, but whatever. Again, I said it. <laughs> the, the run was already ruined. Alright, keep it up, keep it up. Mine. I'm taking these. Don't mind me. Don't mind you, boy. Don't dash here. Oh my goodness. There, now my dash went through. Okay. That's my life. Alright, who cares? Just get me at the end of the level. You can, like, barely see the little piranhas. Oh, am I done? No, but there's a checkpoint. That's something. Alright. More boxes. I just want more gems. If I get, like, the second Wumpa gem, then I'll take it. Because I only got the first gem my first... There we go. I got two gems. That's already an improvement. Oh, uh, okay. Shouldn't have dashed there in my defense. Alright, keep it up, keep it up. You gotta practice. Oh dear. That's not how you do that. I need to drink my water, but I'm gonna wait till I'm done with the level at this point. Alright, good. 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 I missed a box, though. That kind of defeats the purpose of trying to make that jump. I only made that jump to get the box. Fine. I did not know that thing was going to go that way. I thought I was going to get hit by him in the middle first. I'll be taking this. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no, game. Don't do it. Don't you dare. I mean, they're already doing it. So much for don't you dare. I'll take that. Thank you. I nailed it, but I definitely didn't get every box there. But already, the run was already ruined. The run didn't last very long. All right. I remember during the playthrough, I, like, got salty in this level and actually said it's the worst level in the game. 
probably isn't the worst level in the game anymore. I have a newfound respect for it. It's still one of the low tier ones because of the way this thing controls. But um, it's not a terrible level. Anything beats Cortex Castle. I think everyone can agree that Cortex Castle is possibly the worst level in the game. Like, that's easily my least favorite level. I, that's a lot of the Crash 4 fans' least favorite levels. It's a common least favorite level for obvious reasons. If not for that mask part alone, the uh, very end we get to switch mask constantly. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Do I have to like jump? I'll probably, I don't wanna, I'm afraid to jump because I might go, I might fall in the later part, but I think I have to jump. I think that's what I have to do because there's no way I can go over it without jumping. Bro, hang in there a little longer. I just need to finish this level, then I'll give you some water. Okay, good, good, good. Dash, might as well dash there. Do a regular jump here. I'm gonna stick to my normal path. Don't, don't screw it up for anything. Don't change it up. I, I, unless I try to get all the boxes, which I already gave up on. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Do a short hop first. There it is. All right. Right, we didn't we didn't miss too many boxes not too many that's good got the flashback tape which is what i wanted let's see so now now we just need to, uh, these levels oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oops i uh they went back here to see the flashbacks. Three more. All right. Uh, let's get this over with, chat. Let's, uh... Oh, let's do Nitro. We're going to have to do Cortex Castle, too. I'm going to hate it. We'll try, we'll try Nitro Processing. Oh, why am I watching this? I remember this level. I don't remember. Oh, these are the uh, bug enemies. Co Cortex, are you okay? All right, this is the part when Cortex meets his double. He goes back to the past. I remember this. Man, Crash for uh really nailed the story i think for not being for crash bandicoot not being big on story just crash bandicoot having like fan service and stuff really nailed it leave me alone thank you uh hang on All right, there's nothing down there. I have to make sure there's no hidden boxes. Dude, you have no idea how hidden some of these boxes are. They are crazy. By the way, chat, as the title says, AMA, ask me anything. I'm gonna be dying a lot. It would really help to have some conversation going as I constantly die. But if you just wanna watch me suffer, then that's cool too. As long as I can provide you guys content, I am fine either way. Be gone, bug. Dude, we are a week away from SMT5. That is ridiculous. Cannot wait to play SMT5. All of next weekend. I cannot believe I pulled that off. Tell your friends. Alright. Got it. Um, oh, we got some stuff up there. Hang on. Ooh, what we got here? Right 
there anything there? No. Okay. Just checking. Voice for Bob's loves to hide boxes in stupid spots. Yo. There we go. Oh, hey. Isn't the hidden... Did I get the hidden gem already? I did. Okay. Just had to make sure. Yeah, we got the hidden gem. There's a box here. Oh my goodness. I hate that. I bounced on it because it was a Wumpa box. I didn't mean to bounce on it, but the, the magnetic pull got me in. I mean, not magnetic pull, but it attracted me. Basically, my jump. I, um, under overestimated? Yeah, that's the right word. Overripe bananas. Is he? He actually says overripe bananas. Dude, Cortex is hilarious. Ba -ba -bum. Also, I, I realize Cortex saying that is funny. At the same time, though, it kind of makes me not want to eat bananas ever again because I love bananas. It makes me not want to eat bananas. Way to make me lose my appetite, Cortex. Thanks a lot, dude. Peace out. Fine. I'm gonna switch to Crash at some point. I feel like I play as Coco way too much. I mean, how can you not? She's best girl. I will, we'll probably switch to Crash. Oh my goodness. Switch to Crash next round. Just to get some Crash gameplay in here. This is called Crash Bandicoot after all. You gotta give him time to shine. I'm gonna honestly... There we go. That's a good way to do it. Oh dear. Uh, mine. But do you do your charge? Your range is stupid on that, so I like stay extra. Oh my goodness. I, I shouldn't have done that. I realized that was really risky. Oh, don't do that. That was close too. Bye. Not these losers. Their hitboxes are huge. Gotta be careful on that. There we go. Uh, hi. How's it going? Oh my, okay. I didn't know if I landed and I did not know the rat, where the rat was. Okay. Oh, Crash Bandicoot, how I love you, but you also make me mad. Most of the way, most of the time it's in a fun way. Though. This game is hard, but I appreciate the challenge. There are some bad levels out there, looking straight at Cortex Castle. Specifically for that end segment. I swear, the only reason Cortex Castle is infamous is that end section. And I can honestly see it. Like, I definitely see why it's a uh, very hated level. If only for that end section. Like, imagine trying to... Imagine trying to get every single box. And not die. Also, I really hope the tape is before that section. Because I will lose it. If the tape is not before that section. Like, imagine, just imagine trying to not die and get all the boxes. That sounds like a big task. Only the best of Crash players can actually pull that off. And I'm not one of them. Up, 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 um. There we go. That worked. Sometimes the, the physics with those rats are weird. Sometimes you could spin on what looks like their spike shield and still get away with it. I don't care about the hidden gem. I already got... Oh my goodness. I never know. I do have the hidden gem, right? Yeah, I do. I, I have to make sure. All we're missing is the all box. I, I apparently didn't get all the boxes, but I did get 80% of them, so... Got most of them. I did not think that was going to reach me. Wow. Nova with these speedrun strats and just dying instantly. Oh, wait. I said I was going to drink my water. Didn't I? After crash landed. 
Oh. That was me being dumb. Up, 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 um. Overripe bananas. Cortex, I really hate that you ruined like one of my favorite fruits for me. Like straight up. I think I like apples more than bananas, but even still, bananas are up there. And Cortex has forever ruined them for me. When I eat one, I'm gonna try not thinking about this game. Oh, okay. I didn't think I was in range of that. Uh, hi. Yeah, yeah, two overripe bananas. We get it, we get it. I'm getting used to the, the charge times of these annoying electric plugs. Also, the time on that. Oh, we gotta do time trials at some point. We might do some today, depending. I'm not sure what I want to tackle after the flashback tapes. I, I gotta start thinking about that. All there is is the gem, the clear gems, the inverted gems, and the time trials. I'm probably gonna tackle some tr time trials. I've only done one time trial, and I think I only succeeded in one time trial. I think I only got the gold relic or something. But I haven't really messed with time trials, which is why I kind of want to do some time trials. But there are no sprinting shoes, so with the time trials, you just gotta, um... Time trials, you just gotta, uh, use the triple spin you get at the post game. I gotta like kind of focus because as much as I love this game I don't want to be in this level all day I am still open for questions and conversation but I, I gotta start being patient there we go maybe you guys are done thank you nice knowing you oh not these rats please leave me alone oh dear Oh my goodness. Oh, not that crap again. These rats in the rally gets to me. Oh, not these freaks. Can't you, like, not kill them or something? Is something like that? I think you, like, can't kill them. Oh my goodness, game. What do you think? I'm a, I'm a speedrunner? I'm not a speedrunner. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, got it. Okay, calm down, calm down. This is super fast paced, but I can, I can chill. All right, wait till the nitro come. Ooh, hi there. Take this. Thank you. Thank you. That's gonna go on fire. Break. Break. Hi, but Okay. I didn't think you were gonna charge at me that fast. Wow. Did not expect that. I bet the flashback tape in these three levels are going to be towards the end, if not at the end. I, I know, I know the Cortex Castle one is going to be in that section I hate so much, and I'm going to hate it, and I'm going to be like 100% playthrough over. But I do still, I, I, I still, I stand by my case. When, we may not 100% the game, I do still really want to uh, get my mileage out of this game before we go into Crash 1. We're not going to touch Crash 1 for the channel until I get most of my mileage. Like, until I'm, like, either sick of this game or I actually miraculously 100% it, which is not going to happen. I'm trying to be optimistic, but I doubt I'm ever going to 100% this game. Not because of how long it is, because of how difficult it is. Me not being the best Crash player. I would have to binge just Crash Bandicoot, which is not something I do with games. Or just have to be a lifelong project that takes, like, my whole lifetime or something. Hopefully by the time I platinum this game, Crash 5 comes out. They make a Crash 5. That'd be the dream. Maybe they'll make a Crash 5 by the time I 100% this one. I don't know. 
I think they could do a Crash 5 with Toys for Bob. They, they nail Crash 4. I'm not saying I expect them to, but it'd be really nice if they can make a Crash 4. And not 4, this is 4. Crash 5, uh, an actual Crash 5. It'd be nice. Do more with uh, Tana, the interdimensional Tana, and Dingo Dial. Dingo Dial was in 3, but even still, he was an enemy in 3. So, uh, do more with Dingo Dial, do more with Tana. Also, I feel like a, I feel like a Uka Uka uh, in this game was very mispotential. From a, from a gameplay, from a story perspective, he was possibly one of the worst, uh, he was like one of the, one of the underused villains of the game. So, it'd be nice if they did more with him. I'll grab these first, then we'll grab these. But yeah, I think a Crash 5 could work. Do I think it's gonna happen? It's not impossible. Not impossible for a Crash 5 to happen, but like, I'm not really saying yeah it's definitely gonna happen like i don't have high like high expectations for it happening but i do think it's possible i don't think it's impossible i mean didn't crash get like a 20th anniversary or something recently i think fine thank you all right we have a we have a free hit which is really ooh okay game going full box on me i'll take that game game please Oh, I had to focus for that. Oh, there's more. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, perception. I had it too. This is good though. I'm getting more of the level memorized. To quote my boy Axel from Kingdom Hearts, getting more of it memorized and then uh, that'll make it easier to get the flashback tape. Dude, I, I hate the overripe banana comment. I get that Cortex is trying to be funny, but please, use any other fruit. Why is, does it have to be bananas? Any fruit that's not apples or bananas. Or strawberries. Those are my top three. He says bananas? That's technically not wrong, but who says it like that? Bananas? It's spelled banana. Nana, nana, nana. Like, I don't know. I've always said banana. Who says it like bananas? There's probably some people that say it like that, but like... I would never say it like that. I mean, I'm sure it's kind of like vanilla, vanilla. Some people say it differently. I say vanilla for all eternity. There are probably some people that say banana. But I've never heard it in my lifetime. Up, 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 um. Fine. Spin, spin, spin. Coco, as the power of best girl, I'm begging you to get me through this. Just don't die. Part of me doesn't even want to get this Wumpa anymore. Is it really doing anything for me? It's a rhetorical question, but it's not. Fine. Oh dear. Anti-gravity was way too long. Alright, let's uh change the crash. We'll go back to best girl eventually. Oops, how do you skin? Yeah, triangle. What do we want to go with? What on earth is this? Mother clucker. Rocket head. What do I want to go with? How about humanoid crash? Bare bones. Go with the warp biker. Give crash some um, sunglasses. What's up? It's a boy. It's ya boy. Skins were such a nice addition to the game. Some of them are really goofy, but man, were they a nice addition.
Alley flop. I'm too good. This is also a problem I have. When I keep dying in the crash game, I start rushing the level to try and be like a pseudo speedrunner. I'm gonna bother. Oh dear. Oh wait, you have to. You have to do it because like you can't go up. Alright, you have to go for the gold wumpa. It's a bad habit in crash games where if I keep dying, I'll rush the level because I'm tired of doing the same part over and over again. It's a terrible habit because Crash Bandicoot is not the kind of game I could speedrun. There's no- okay. I mean, I would have to skip every single box if I were to speedrun a Crash game. But, that's not really speedrunning. I mean, technically it is. Like, you could do an any percent run of Crash and skip all the boxes, but like, the boxes in Crash are important. Speedrunning a Sonic game is different. Like, speedrunning a Sonic game, you could like, you don't have to get every single ring or something. Or anything like that. Sonic is like, meant to be speedrun. Speed brand, speed run. But you know. So you know. Sonic is a different kind of game where if you, you don't really lose anything by skipping them. 100 percent saying a Sonic game is essentially getting all the A ranks and or S ranks, whatever they have it. I know 06 has S ranks, but getting A to S ranks is a hundred percenting in Sonic games essentially. No one really says like, yeah, I'm gonna get every single ring. They get most, but they never really say, yeah, I'm gonna get every single ring in a Sonic game. They try and get a lot, but never really all of them. There we go, that's better. Doing the top first, and that way the uh, bottom... Okay. Doing the bottom is easier. I will consider today an achievement if we get all the flashback tapes. Not necessarily beating all of them. It'd be amazing if we beat them all as well. But um, getting all the flashback tapes is enough for me to say this VOD was, uh, this stream was successful. Although it doesn't matter how successful we are. Crash 4 is a fun game no matter how you play it. But um, I'd consider it a six, like really good progress. We can get all the, at least all of them obtained. And then doing them is a different story. How long did we did all the flashback tapes up till now? We only did like 10 of them. We're gonna have to do all of them. We have to get them all first, obviously. Nice. I've been doing that single hop and for some reason that time it worked. Weird. Right, we have to go here. I've, I have recently learned this. Who cares about the hidden gem? Also, be aware, you can only do this two times. Once you do it the second time, you're screwed. Take that, thank you. Goodbye. You guys done perfect i can skip most of you i will like i don't, I don't need to kill every enemy all right don't don't choke on this part because the the little rats rallying like that is uh very hard to avoid on oh dear it's really scary to try and get all of those without dying Oh, yeah. I'm right next to the next next row? Right next to the nitro. <laughs> Man, my English is messed up today. I'm trying to play a Crash Bandicoot game. Oh dear. I come out of nowhere, I remember that. Nice. I thought I would get hit by the fire, but I didn't. Oh, this again. Alright, chat, hang on. Gotta focus. I think doing it like this is better. Game. Thank you. All done, all done. Yup, all right, perfect, perfect. 
All right, this is where I died last. Yeah, okay. Just do a double jump. Okay. Just got all the wumpus. I have to. I have to jump across. That's what the game wants me to do here. Our goal is the mask. The Akuba Ku mask right there. Oh, nailed it. Coming through. Love it, love it. Double. One more and I get invincibility. Get a crash. Nice. Come on. Oh, dear. This is where it gets dangerous. These little, these little uh, slime freaks. Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. Where is the flashback? I mean, this is later. This is a later level than what uh, Crash Landed, so it's probably at the end. Like Crash Landed. Crash Landed was like basically 80% through the level. Oh, these guys respawn. Careful with that. Easy. Oh, not these rat freaks. Goodbye. Jump. They come out so fast. You got to be ready for them. Again, I will try to get every box, but I'm not using that spreadsheet right now. I'm using it when I, uh, oh dear. I want to kill you to, yeah, lower my stress. Oh dear. Hang on. Goodbye. Oh dear. Oh, that was close. Should have been more careful there. Yeah, I'm listening, Cortex. Oh, this kills you! I didn't think that would kill you. Okay. I'm a little mad about that, not gonna lie. That's kind of misleading. Mine, mine. Alright. We were so close. I'm sure I could smell the flashback tape. It was probably really close to that area, I bet. Man, they really make the flashbacks a little more annoying to get now because they're at the very end of the hard levels. I mean, I'm not expecting any differently. That's that's very typical. Obviously, if you want to make something harder, make it at the end of the level. But still. You know. I mean, honestly, I don't mind the flashback tapes. I think they're well handled. Unlike the death relics, which I think are not bad in theory, but some of the levels make the death relics pretty bad. Oh, wait, I should have known that. That one kills you. Yeah, never mind. That I'll blame myself there. I should have known because all these others have been like, I just don't. I'm not an idiot and I don't stand long enough on them, but they would kill me too. So never mind. That's not so different. Uh, let's see. This nice. Bye. I'm a spider freak now. Oh dear. Sa saved it. So proud of myself. So proud of myself. Bye. Peace out. Sayonara. Oh wow, double. I love spinning on an enemy and killing another one with that enemy. It's so satisfying. It's RNG, but satisfying and hilarious when it happens. Come on. Oh, dear. That, that was close. How am I alive right now? How am I alive right now? I hit his spike, but hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining. How did the game not say, yeah, you're dead? There we go. Wow, I'm still going. I think I got this level memorized. I know exactly what's coming to me. Oh, no dying run over. Fine. Vortex, you're great. You're a great villain. But, um... I'm getting tired of hearing your speech about the ripened bananas and your evil twin. Getting very tired of it. I just realized that was the past Cortex. 
The Cortex of 1996 saying that, that makes me feel a little better. But not really. It's still, I, I still hate hearing that line. Up, 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 um. Goodbye. Can your boy speedrun Stratus? I wonder. I always want to move on, but I forget there's a box here. So I can't. Thank you. Whenever you're done. Goodbye. I shouldn't have tried that. I shouldn't have tried that. But I was hoping that my spin would hit him. I shouldn't have tried it, though. I'll take responsibility. Alright. We got this. This is only our second flashback tape of, tape of the day. Oh, no. This is our third, right? No, we, we got stowing away and crash landed, right? Yeah, no, stowing away was the really easy one because we didn't have to. We already had all the gems, so that was the easy one. And then uh, crash landed, we did. No, this is the third one. All right, never mind. If this was still the second, I would have been like, dude, we're like almost an hour into stream, and I only got two tape, um, th one tape. But no, this is the uh, this is the third we're getting, so that's fine. Crash Bandicoot, I expect to die. Easy. Up, um, let's see. Peace out. Hang on, hang on. You guys aren't gonna come at me, right? I gotta take a drink. Perfect. I don't care enough to actually kill you guys. Here we go. Don't be dumb again here. There we go. I missed it. We'll go back to it. All of them? Yep. All right. Just making sure. All right. Don't don't screw this part up. I know the game gives me a yellow circle, but uh, that's getting too cocky if I screw it up. Okay. After I just said to myself, "Don't screw it up," I screwed up. Part of me feels like, um, I mean, part of me feels like I don't want to rush it because if I rush it, if I already have all the boxes, then yeah, like, I mean, yeah, no, because I kind of want to get all the boxes because like, if I can get the death relic, if I miraculously don't die for the whole stage, 
I can miraculously just get the death relic and the flashback tape at the same go. Like, it's possible. So that's why I don't want to skip the boxes. That's why I definitely still want to try and get the boxes, because then I'll be, I'll be trying to kill two birds with one stone. Trust me, killing two birds with one stone is a- Oh, there's a box up there? I've been missing this. Wow, okay. That's another box placement I don't mind too much. All right, well, good I know it now. Hopefully, I don't keep forgetting it on my run-throughs here. But, um, yeah, so I don't want to skip the boxes because if I can get the Death Relic and the, uh, flashback tape in the same go, and I don't have the, uh, box gem, so essentially getting, like, three to four birds with one stone, I'll be cool with that. And the Death Gem, which is less than three deaths. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say, chat. Like, I, I have to try to minimize my trips. I mean, obviously, I'm not always going to be able to minimize my trips. I'm just not good enough at the game to try and do that. However, if I could, it would help all the more. It'll make this 100% playthrough that much more, like, enjoyable and not as, like, overwhelming. Is that losers? Oh, wow, you could jump over them. I forgot. That literally made me flinch. Don't ask me why. It just did when I, when I jumped on him? Oh, oh, what? Okay. I blamed the game on that. I should have been standing on that. I might have pressed X the slightest bit, and that made me jump in the air and do a grand slam. Grand slam. That was the problem there, and I hated it. There we go. There we go. Hang on. I'm... Protex, I'm getting very tired of- Okay. Getting very tired of your ripened banana comment. Trying so hard to rush this level because I'm tired of doing the same segment over and over again. Bye. Is that loser? I right, don't forget that box this time. Because that this is a box I need to get. If I want to get the all box gem and the death relic. go all right you bugs let's do it bye okay i'm gonna focus here i might not talk much not because i'm like annoyed because i actually want to get through this part of the level and get to just get to some new stuff all right i thought i was dead there I'm surprised the game gave me the, uh, not dead there. That surprises me. Alright, this is why I screwed up that one time. For some reason, this is so difficult. I don't know why. 
It should be easier. Not easy necessarily, but easier because the yellow line. I gotta double jump when I'm near it for extra distance. That's the key. There we go. Okay, what hit me there? I have another life, I'm fine with it. Alright, this isn't necessarily new, we were here today, but uh, this is like, I haven't been here in a while. I'm gonna, honestly, I don't care about those Wumpas. Does that respawn? It does, perfect. There is a certain part here coming up. I didn't die to it, but I almost did. I have to be very careful. Bye. Peace out. Sayonara. Can't believe I pulled that off. But I have a life. If I get hit by something, I don't die. Hmm. I'm gonna take the easy way. Yeah, like that. Just skip all of you losers, honestly. That'll make my life easier. You just don't do it at all, which is weird. Oh no. Oh, you know what? Jump over him. Do that. Oh, this is where I screwed up. Yeah, I was dumb. I was dumb and uh, I didn't realize this. Uh, I didn't realize that would. Okay. Don't do that. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna make me wall jump. Wall jumping is the most unresponsive thing in this game. It's another flaw I have. Right, time to good, Nova. Dude, wall jumping in this game is like very inconsistent and I kind of hate it. I, you know what I'm going to do chat? I'm going to go on. I want to see where this tape is. Again, I died. I'm aware, but I want to see where the tape is. How close am I? I? I need to know. And if I can get like a either a box gem or that, then that's fine. We're going to redo this level though regardless. Because I, I'm not going to quit. I got this level down pat. Quitting wouldn't be the best thing to do. Then again, we haven't reached the bonus level yet. So, like, we probably still have a good amount of this level. Levels in this game are, like, not that short. They're, they're pretty long. Yeah, there's the bonus level. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. Even though I made my whole speech. If I die more than three times, though, then I'll retry. Do I have the time mask? Is that what I have to do here? No, I don't. Okay. I press triangle thinking I do. All right. I don't know where this uh, flashback could be. I hope it's soon. Does that make me think, wow, I got close to it. Dude, wall jumping is so unresponsive in this game. That That's another thing I have. The, the, the flaws with this game... I can't really criticize the game for being like, uh, I can't really say 100%ing is a flaw because obviously you don't have to do it. But, um, hidden box placements is one of them, I guess, if you want to count that. But, um, another flaw is, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I know what I should have done there. But, um, a flaw I have with the game is not that. It's, um, wall jumping being unresponsive is annoying. There are just times where you can hold the X button and it straight up doesn't work. I've tried it. Okay, this is where I have to be careful. I think I know what I have to do. There we go. Did that do everything? Perfect. You love to see it. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. I do remember this. I hope there are no boxes in that segment. I'm going to assume right now there are not. If I miss them, then I'm going to assume there are, and that's going to be annoying. Still no tape, huh? Oh, dear. That is really hard to do. Insanely. Got it. 
That is like... Dude, where is this tape? Am I almost done with the level too? That's another question. I mean, I got past the bonus level. I have to be at least over halfway. There's the tape. Wow, that's really far. I mean, I would have had it if I didn't screw up the wall jumping, which again, as I said, wall jumping so unresponsive. I don't even blame like, I, I blame the game there. I love the sound effects of that. It's so good. Oh dear. Nailed it. Yo, we got every box. Let's go. Okay, so are there, there are no unfair box placements in that level. Good to know. Ooh, look at that. All the gems. Let's replay that level and try and get the uh, flashback tape. And honestly, the boxes aren't even that hard to get. Dude, I, I can do this. I can get the, uh, I can totally get the death relic here and I can totally get the flat, the flashback tape I know I can get. Flashback tape, if you really want to, you could skip every box and just grab, that was my mistake. But, um, you could just, for the, what was that I just did? Oh, that was, okay. I thought that was my, my screen. I was like, what's wrong with my TV? I could totally death relic this level. I could do a, I can get the perfect relic here. I could totally get it. Think about it. I only died on that wall jumping segment. If I didn't die on that wall, I'm not saying I would have nailed everything else after that attempt. But like, the time I died and I didn't get the tape was because of the wall jumping. Again, it could have been because it's unresponsive like I've been talking about. So if that's my only problem, I just have to get a little lucky and hope I don't get the unresponsiveness. And I can win. I can get the uh, death relic here. I would like to try, honestly. Plus, this level is not short, but I think I've mastered it. So I definitely think I want to give um I want to give 100% this level a try. By 100%, I mean getting everything like the death relic. Of course, we are gonna have to do the time trial and the uh what's it called? The other thing, the inverted. I mean, inverted is gonna be backwards, so inverted I'm gonna have to have a new rhythm to go through. Uh, ba, 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 bum. Can't believe I nailed that. I did though. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Oh my goodness, what happened there? I was like sliding in midair and I thought I was helpless, but now I'm not. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Leave me alone. Oh, they explode. I think that one time, I know this was a while ago. I'm shocked I remember this, but it was an attempt that was like, what killed me there? I think it was that thing exploding. I didn't realize they explode at the end. That's that's my B. Okay. Do this. Get it, get it. I'm taking that. Thank you. Dodge that. Fine, thank you. I don't even know why I bother. I'm like maxed on lives, but I still have to get the boxes the normal way sometimes. It's just how I am. Oh camera, please. Camera, please! I realize I'm doing this. It's not the camera's fault, but still. Okay. That's all of them. Now we have to do this this again, which sometimes I just screw up for some anonymous reason. Hang on. I had a I had an itch. I didn't want that to be the death of me. Double. Is there no third Aku Aku mask here? That's a little weird. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's probably the area. Oh my goodness, I have another itch. Itch, please stop. Perfect, all right. Back to not dying. Which I hope I can get. Dude, I hope wall jumping cooperates with me. That's the one thing that killed me, and I'm a little mad that 
the one thing I died at wasn't even like a hard part. I mean, it, it, it's not easy. Thank goodness I had the mask is all I'm going to say. But, um, I hate that the one thing that killed me was, um, unresponsive wall jumping. And not, uh, like, not that it's easy, but, like, that part wasn't, like, I didn't die because of how, diff like, getting hit by the spikes. It was literally, like, the game wouldn't clack, like, latch me onto the second wall. Which happens in this game for some dumb reason. Raptor, welcome to the stream. Okay. Bye. Let's go. Don't talk to me about that. Uh, I want to hit the bug. He doesn't charge. I guess because he's surrounded and he knows that the rats can reflect it. Get him. Nice. Nailed it. Oh, there's a box down there? Wait. Did I get that last time? I mean, I had to have. I got the box gem. Okay. Game, please, I'm begging you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was close. I know what happened there. I know exactly what happened there. My jump was not far enough. And there's nothing like a good Friday playing some Crash Bandicoot dying a lot. I'm being serious, like, actually, I, I have fun in this game, even when I die. Of course, there are some times I die and I'm like, that's BS, but this is like one of the only games I could think of. Probably a Mega Man Zero game or a Mega Man game in general would be the other example where I actually die a lot and I still have fun. Still manage to find enjoyment. This game's difficulty balancing is really good. Not Cortex Castle. Cortex Castle is, is idiotic and stupid. That last segment specifically. Everything else is pure, for, pure perfection. I remember when I reviewed the game for my playthrough, my only problems were the unresponsive wall controls, which, again, wall control doesn't come out crazy a lot, a lot but it does come up enough where it's an issue. And the, the difficulty jump at the end. Like, the game has this, like, from the beginning of the game to the end of the game, the game is progressively getting harder at, like, a good pace. I feel like the pacing... The pacing of this game is, like, the difficulty pacing of the game is amazing. Like, going from End Sanity Island to, I think it's the Snox Dimension, the food run levels. That's, that's like, really good progressive difficulty. Even, like, this level and Toxic Tunnels are fine. But then when you get to Cortex Castle, it's, like, too much. The Cortex Castle was, like, the, ep the epitome of fun. Like, not fun in the slightest. It was only because of the last segment. But, like, that's enough to be, like, yeah, it's the worst level in the game. Because... Look at it from a 100% perspective. If you want to look at it from a casual perspective, you could still hate the level, but you're not going to hate it as much as completionists. You have to, like, beat that level, beat that segment, getting every single box without dying. That's just ridiculous. So, you know. I think Crash 4 got the perfect relic thing from Crash 1. That's one of the reasons I'm never going to 100% Crash 1. Because Crash 1 has the same thing where you have to get every box and not die, and I hate that. Jinku, welcome to stream. The run's going fine. You know, we're just having some fun. We're getting on uh, the flashback tapes right now. We're going to get all the flashback tapes. We only need three left. Once we do that, we're going to do them all. That's our plan for today. Like, that's our first order of business. After that, might not be today, but after that, we're going to start focusing. We're going to do some time trials and just try and get some gems. Honestly, I'm just here for a good time. I would like to 100% the game eventually. I am just here for a good time. Having to, like, just play a game, not focus on the story. So, you know. Plus, it's a great chance to chat with my viewers. So, you know. But I would like to 100% the game. That's the, that's the goal. I don't see it happening anytime soon, but that is the goal. Where's this Crash 1 speedrun streams? I was already talking about the Raptor. I'm not playing Crash 1 to... F I almost said 4. This is 4. I'm not playing Crash 1 to 3 for a good while until I get my mileage out of this game. This game is so much content, I have to either get sick of this game or just get close enough to 100%ing it where I think like, yeah, I could take a break and play some other Crash games. Plus, Crash 1 to 3 aren't as long as this game. Like, they don't have as much, nearly as much. This game has more content than all of them combined. 
So when I do eventually do them, it won't take it won't take too long. Especially crash one. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna 100 crash one. Also speed run. Don't don't expect speed run. I'm I'm doing a casual playthrough of crash one. I will 100% crash two and three easily. I will, I'm not 100% in Crash 1, though. I don't like Crash 1 enough to 100% it. Plus, it's not fun. It's not... Let me put it like this. It's not fun enough for me to want to 100% it. This game is. Despite this game having high maintenance, I... Will probably... I'm not saying I'm ever going to 100% this game because it's really hard, but I would like to. This game has high tolerance, but it's also a great game, so... It's got that going for it. Crash 1 does not have anything going for it like that. I will 100% crash 2 and 3 when I get to them, though. Easily. Vortex, no one's listening to you, dude. No one. Alright, don't don't screw this up this time, or I hope the wall jumping is good. There we go. Oh, uh, what? No, no, no. I hate that. I hate that. The shadow is right there. I saw Crash's shadow. I saw it, which makes you think, oh, you're gonna land there. I hate that. Come on, toys for Bob. Alright, well, I, I'm not gonna listen to the shadow. The shadow throws me off. I saw Crash's shadow, which made me think, oh, he's gonna land there. We're gonna get this. We got all the gems. Now we're just trying to get the flashback tapes. Tape, which we have to die for a not long enough time. And getting the death relic would be good. If I can get the death relic while we're here, that'd be awesome. I should probably speedrun the game. Speaking of speedrunning, since Raptor brings that up. I'm not speedrunning Crash 1, though. No, thank you. Maybe Crash 2. Crash 2 is my second favorite in the, uh... In the four games. In the four games, like... Not counting all the spin-offs, but uh, Crash 2 is my second favorite. I'd have a good chance of doing that. I got the Platinum for Crash 2, but I, I would gladly do it again for, for my playthrough. Crash 3, I never got the Platinum in. I'm just going to wait at this point. Crash 3 is also good. I do like Crash 2 a bit more, though. Crash 3 has some interesting ideas, which I do like. Crash 1 is great, like a great first game, but like doesn't have much going for it in the way of like wanting to replay it. I will replay it, obviously, for the channel. Very much like how I say with Lufia 1. It's, it's, it's very much the same as Lufia 1. Like I'll play it for the channel, except I'll probably very rarely will I ever touch it again after I do my playthrough for it. I would rather touch it than Lufia 1 though. Like Luffy one straight up, I'm never playing that game again because I got my playthrough, played it like two times as a kid. I'm good. That's enough for Luffy one. Crash one is similar to that, but also I have a better chance of playing Crash one again. If some part of me is like, I'm gonna speed run this to make Raptor happy, but um, that that's not happening. Don't um, don't count on that. Cortex's ripe banana statement threw me off. Come on, game. I like this level, but, like, please. We've been doing it for, like, half an hour. We're over one hour. Man, I woke up today and I thought, a week for SMT5. It's a common thought process I've been having lately. I've always been excited, but man, as it draws near, I just get more excited. I, I tweeted about it because I'm like, I woke up and I'm like, dude, it's it's like, I'm getting that SMT fever. I just can't wait to uh, see all the demons again. Up, um. What happened there? I, I lived it though, so I'm not going to question it. Okay. Um, 
Other than some idiot at IGN, the review, review words reviews have been fantastic. Yeah, I've been uh I haven't been reading reviews or watching reviews because again I don't want to be spoiled. I've been like I, I see like the overall score that the game is getting good reviews just like number wise. A lot of people are like reviewing it highly, like thinking highly of it. I don't know. That's that. That's the gist of what I know. I don't know anything else. But I I have heard that uh, I know the uh, I've heard of like a lot of people comparing it to Persona Five, and. Um, it's not good, because SMT... I'm sure a lot of people are like, Oh, this game's not Persona 5. Like, it, it, its characters aren't as strong. And I'm like, dude, SMT's not supposed to focus on characters. It's supposed to focus on, like, the world and the uh, philosophy and ideology and stuff. Like Nocturne did. Like, that's obvious after playing Nocturne. Could SMT5 five, SMT five characters be good? Yes. But if they're bad, or not not bad necessarily, Nocturne's characters weren't even bad. They were just meh. But that wasn't the purpose of Nocturne. Nocturne's purpose was focusing on making a choice of what you want the world to be. The world of Yasugo, world of Masubi. That was Nocturne's purpose. Like, I, I understand what Nocturne was going for. Again, as much as I like strong characters in games, I still like Nocturne because I liked what it was going for. The idea, The ideology of it was awesome, and it was really well done. Second half of the game was really good. Having different people with different reasons was really, really good. So, like, the characters weren't bad in that game. They just weren't- there wasn't much to them. But it was very clear that the characters weren't meant to be that special. The game was really about, like, the world you want to choose and the different endings and the pads you can go. The characters were merely, like, personifications of their reasons. Is the way I think of it. I'm not sure if that's the actual purpose of them, but, like, that's what I thought of it as. Point is, uh, Nocturne did well with the theme of it, and the characters being there were... They weren't, like, necessarily amazing, but, like, made the game flow better. So, there are a lot of... I know the reviewing fandom, there's a lot of scumbags comparing it to Persona 5 saying, like, Oh, but Persona 5 is better for this reason. Look, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Persona 5 is great. I like Persona 5. However, it's not perfect. As much as I like a game, I hate people considering a game to be, like, flawless and perfect. Persona 5 is in my top 5 games. It is. But, um, it, it's not perfect. Far from it. It's got problems. So, you know. But also, IGN is kind of, kind of sucks at their job. Game reviewers like IGN aren't that great to begin with, so who cares what the guy at IGN said is the way I think of it. I think IGN are slowly learning their lesson on reviewing games. We're gonna make the game super easy, like Colors Ultimate to please them. I agree. I know you were talking to Raptor during that, but I agree with that comment, by the way. IGN just really isn't that good. Like, they, they will review games, and, like, they review games pretty terribly. But, you know. I don't really read much game reviews un unless I'm on the fence about the game. I'm not going to read the reviews about SMT5 because I'm already buying the game. But if there's a game that I'm like, I don't know if I'll like it, I'll look at reviews. Then I'll look at reviews. I did that for Nocturne. Before I decided, yeah, I'm going to play Nocturne. Because I was on the fence about it. What what I do? What why did I do that? All right, could we actually like get farther than this part? More importantly, can we actually be done? Oh, okay, I missed that box. Skipping the flashback is not an option because if I skip it, then we don't get all the flashbacks. We need to come here eventually. Oh, Cor I'm dreading Cortex Castle. We're not even at Cortex Castle yet, and I'm already dreading it. Oh, dude. I, I bet they put the flashback in that section or, like, after it, and I'm gonna... No, it can't be at the end of it. It would have to be during it or before it. I hope it's before, because, man, Cortex Castle is so annoying.
Goodbye. I'm tired of doing this level. If I take a break, though, that's stupid. I can't, like, take a break in the level and come back to it because I've already got the mem... Memo? I got the level m memorized. So it'd be really pointless to just be like, yeah, we'll come back to it. I really want to get it done now so we don't have to do it again. What's happening with Crash there? But yeah, SMT5, I'm very excited. I can't wait. Simply. Like, simply put. Set losers. Don't miss this box this time. Anything around here? No? I don't know why I had to check. I've been checking the whole time and there's not been anything there. Okay, this is where I have to focus. Do those spikes kill you near the sewers? I don't know if they do. Either way, I haven't been getting hit by them, so who cares? Oh wow, I actually kicked that without getting burned. I'm gonna bother, I'm just gonna explode it. Wait for the camera, because the camera is gonna get wonky here and I'm gonna die because of the camera. Better. At everything? Yeah? Alright. Back to all this. Yes, Cortex, your voice is very odd, but you are hilarious, so I'll give you that. Alright. We're finally almost at the wall jumping segment. If I can, like, not be thrown off by Crash's shadow, then I'll be golden. That was close. I thought I would get hit by the spikes. I'm gonna bother with you losers. Okay. Get it? There we go, there we go. Alright. Alright, let, let me let me drink water. Drink water and think this through. Texas, it's not a very good idea. Alright, ready? Okay, good. Shadow throws me off, though. Straight up. There we go. Okay. If I can not die for the rest of the level, I will get my... Well, if I could not die till the flashback day. Let me focus on that first. Then we'll get the death roll. Either way, in a nutshell, don't die. I'm really scared to slide kick. I'm doing it! Good. Come on. Okay. I need to explode this. Take, 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 a, take a breath, Nova. Take, take a breath. Just, just, just breathe. Okay. I think I'm ready. Going through. There we go. Oh, it's after this part. Right, right. Okay. Well... Take those and do the bonus level because I would love to, if possible, I would love to try and get the death relic. Okay. I could die here. I don't know why I'm like thinking about it. I, 
could die here. If I die here, it doesn't count. Alright, that bonus level is kind of easy. The bonus levels at the end game get really hard, but this one's pretty easy. It's not like super easy, but it's definitely not as hard as some other ones I could think of. Okay, take a breath here. This is ridiculous. Oh, is it after this? Okay, I think it's after this. Oh my goodness. Oh dear, oh dear. I need these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Stop time. Where's the tape? Is it really this far? Oh, it is, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. There it is. Give me, give me, give me. Yes. Got it. Okay. I might as well keep trying not to die to, uh, to, uh, get the death relic. I'm almost done with the level, aren't I? Goodbye. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. What? One box? What did I miss? Oh, I think I... Oh, I, I'm mad. I, I, I'm not going to bother, but I think I know which box I mix, missed. It's the one up, wasn't it? All right, whatever. Either way, we got the flashback. That's what I care about. Oh, that sucks. It's definitely... I, I've gotten all the boxes, so I must have just passed it on an attempt. All right. Either way, that's done. Let's head here. Two more, chat. Only two more flashback tapes. I want to get them, and then we can just play them back to back. So, they're in Toxic Tunnels and Cortex Castle. Oh, wow. Toxic Tunnels. We need a big amount of gems here. Air. I don't remember this level too much. Hi, losers. Oh, I do remember this level, actually. What am I saying? I remember this level. Oh, this is the minecarts. Yeah, I, I remember this a good deal. Anything up there? Oh, hey. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Oh, that, that was close. I almost died. I'm so, I'm so annoyed that I missed one box. And I've gotten the box before. I just missed it in that attempt. It was probably, it was either the one-up box in the beginning or it was the Akuku Aku mask in that segment before the wall jump. It was one of those two. I bet it was one of those two. There's no way I'm going to be able to prove it, but it was definitely one of those two. I'm not even going to bother killing you guys. You guys could stay alive. Oh, no. All right, time is good. Oh, dear. Nailed it. Oh, I hate wall jumping with boxes. Is there a box there? No, right? Okay. I thought the game was like, yeah, there's a box there. There we go. Okay. Chill, chill. Don't rush. Be as close as possible. There we go. There we go. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, that's right. You need all the... Oh, right, 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 right. We need the blue gem. Dude, we have to get the blue gem today. I'm going to try and get the blue gem. The blue gem is really annoying. You have to play a level without destroying a single box. We're going to have to do that because we can't get every single box. I will try, honestly, I will try to get, um... The, the, the flashback, though. I'll try to get as many as I can. That's annoying. I forgot we don't have the blue gem yet. We're gonna. I'm gonna try and get that today after the flashbacks because we have every single color gem except the blue gem, and the blue gem is the annoying one. You have to play a level without destroying a single box. Oh, not this rat! Nailed it. 
Oh, okay. There goes my flashback. Alright. Actually, part of me is thinking if I should just get the blue gem now. Nah, we'll, we'll go back here. I don't mind going back to this level. Actually, yeah, whatever. My goal is flashbacks. It's possible we're gonna have to make a few back trips. I'm fine with that. By the way, uh, this joke that Cortex is making, it's a callback to uh, the fact that Crash was originally gonna be a wombat. <laughs> That's hilarious. But, um, yeah, so originally they were gonna make Crash a Wombat before they made him a Bandicoot. And there is a Wombat skin in the game, so that's a callback to that, which is really nice. I think Coco has a Wombat skin. I'm not sure if Crash has it as well. I will take this. Above all, loyal. Oh, Crash. What about Coco, though? She She's best girl. She's she's loyal, too. Thank you. Oh, did I miss the boxes in the beginning? I did. Wait, why am I even restarting, though? There's no point. Ah, but still, I'd rather get the 80% uh, box gem. Yeah, there was boxes in the beginning. I don't know why I'm bothering, because I can't get them anyway without all the colored gems, but lo and behold, I am. I don't know about that, Cortex. He could be loyal, but not to you. I could see the future. Trust me. It's been like 15 years, and this bandicoot is not going to be loyal to you. Oh, wow. Interesting. Why do we feel like I should get the blue gem first, but man, I really just want the flashback tapes. So, who cares? Yeah, I wouldn't like them any other way. Both Crash and Coco. Wombat would have been good, but I think Bandicoot, it worked it out. Bandicoot is what I know, and that's what I like. I like what I know. I like what I see, basically. Not to sound e weird in any single complex. Bye. Doesn't really matter that I missed a one up, by the way, because, like, honestly, um, I'm maxed on lives. Good, good. Too bad I can't get that door open. Alright, well, I'm assuming that the flashback tape's gonna be near the very end. Dude, I actually... I don't know why I did that. No clue. Ba -ba -bum. Uh, hi. Goodbye. Why did you? I have to choose a bandicoot. If I just stuck with the wall pad, this all would have been different. Damn, wall pads. This bandicoot is strong, clever, and above all, loyal. Oh. Might as well create another bandicoot that will remain loyal. Yeah, make like. Is Crunch a Bandicoot? Because Crunch is in Wrath of Cortex. I don't know if Crunch is a Bandicoot or not. I can't remember. Is Crunch a Bandicoot? I don't, I don't know. I haven't played Wrath of Cortex in a minute. 
What is Tiny Tiger? Tiny, yeah, Tiny's a tiger. His name's Tiny Tiger. Why he's called Tiny, I have no idea. He's not Tiny in any respect, but, um, yes, he's a tiger. Crunch is considered a bandicoot. I mean, it's either he is or isn't. Not really considered. But I don't know if Crunch is a bandicoot. Oh my goodness. Do you see that sign? I think it's bandicoot toxic. That is wild. This man Cortex is out here poisoning bandicoots. No wonder he wants to kill Crash so much. I mean, that's not true. Apparently, he wants to eat Crash because in that one little... Segment where he says bandicoot stew. Nailed it. That threw me off guard when Cortex like actually just said bandicoot stew. Straight up. I didn't realize that was something you can climb onto. Like, who cares about the Wumpas? Thank you for your time. We need the hidden gem here. I have no earthly idea where the hidden gem is. Like, at all. Interesting. Where can your boy get there? Oh, I have to go on the fire one. Oh, dear. Wait, how do... What? Oh, dear. He is, unfortunately for Cortex. He is a bandicoot, right? I, I thought he was. That's why I figured he was. Man, I look at this game. I used to like Wrath of Cortex. I did. I, I won't lie. I'll be honest. I still, I still have a lot of fond memories of Wrath of Cortex. But um, looking at this game changes my opinion of Wrath of Cortex and makes me think, yeah, it's not a very good game. Mostly because it's a Crash Three ripoff and a wannabe Crash Four. It's like the actual fourth Crash game, but it's not really can canon to like. It's like in another timeline or whatever, or like not even. It's like kind of like. Crash 4, but not really. And in this game, they actually reference, like, the fact that all those games don't matter. Which is also hilarious. Dude, this game just does so good with the lore and fan service. Some of the cutscenes in this game are downright funny, and I love them. I really want to replay the story of this at some point. That'll, that'll obviously be, like, as I get closer to 100%ing, or when I 100%. But man, I want to replay this. Like, Redux playthrough it. See all the cutscenes again and go through again? That'd be fun. Because I like the cutscenes in this game. For Bob, I am begging you, please make a Crash 5. Like, with this foundation of Crash 4 that turned out to be a big hit, please, like, use this to make a fifth game. Like, I would lose. Okay. That, that was close. I almost died. But, um, do it, please. I would love it. Again, it's not like I think they're gonna do it, but it's in, it's in the. It's a possibility. It could happen. I'm holding out hope that it could happen. Luckily, wall jumping has been, um, very friendly. That is spook. 
I, I get nervous every time I do that. That part right there. Chat, I had a I had a Korean wing place today. Man, was it delicious. I have like a place like five minutes away from me. I had some before stream and I was like, dude, these are amazing. If anyone hasn't tried uh like Korean food, very, very good. Would highly recommend. Hi there, I'm gonna jump over you. Up, up, um. Hi, Box. I don't really care about the Wumpa too much. Calm down, fire. That should not have worked, but hey, I'm glad it did. Also, that should not hit. <laughs> I'm shocked that hits. All right, game, where's the flashback tape? Oh, wait, we passed here. Am, am I okay? Somehow I forgot we passed here. Where did I die again? I don't remember where I died. I might have died here in the stupid part. I might have died there, actually. I think I tried to jump that instead of crouching. All right, this we have to time good. Easy. I'm not even going to bother getting all the Wumpus. No. No, you freak. Not today. Goodbye. Thank goodness I didn't hit that TNT. I thought I was going to and be dead. What on earth? Oh dear. 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 Oh, dear. oh not these bats. Not these freaks. Nailed it. Alright. No sign of a flashback tape. Very worrying. We're going to do the same thing as last time. If I die, I'm just going to keep going until I know where the flashback is. Uh, okay. This, uh, this looks a little harder. Yeah, this is, uh, much harder. Oh, I have to spin on the bottom one. I know what I have to do. Spin on the bottom one, then we have the arrow one. But the arrow one might kill me if it burns. I have to time this really well, basically. Yeah, it doesn't work. Can I, like, use the arrow and then bounce, like, diagonal from the fire and not get hit by it? Maybe. If so, that's what I have to do. Nah, it doesn't work. Maybe it does. Who knows? It should theoretically work. Probably. Possibly. All right, luckily I could die as many times as I want here. Oh, do I spin on the top one, maybe? Let's try that. No, but then that's go- Yeah, I don't know how to do this. I have to do it, though. Actually, I really don't. We already didn't get every box. But I would like to do it so I know how to do it for later. We can't get every box already because we need the color gems. I stood on it. You could like stand on the very edge of it. That's what I have to do, but that's very hard to execute. You have to like be at the very edge that if you take another step to the left, you're dead. Or right, depending on what side you're on. Nailed it. Mine. Got it. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Do this to make my life easier. Alright, forget the one up. Oh dear. That's not how that works. Oh, I know what I have to do. I got it. I got it. I got it, chat. Man, people love seeing me die a lot in Crash Bandicoot. I have six viewers right now. That is, uh, you may be thinking, no, but that's not a lot. For my channel, that's a lot. I didn't think people would like seeing- Oh, okay. That's one way to do that. Stop caring about the one-up. People must love seeing me die in this game. And I don't blame them. 
And then what I have to do here. There we go. Those will be destroyed when I... Okay. Okay. Nailed it. I have to go back anyway, don't I? Because those crate the metal ones aren't gonna explode. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think keeping this one was what I was supposed to do. Because how would I make it back there without that? I mean, maybe it's possible. Who knows? Yeah, and then I have the arrow box here. I'm fine. All right. This was a fun one to figure out. This was a lot harder than the uh, other one. The other one I did in, uh, what was it called? Nitro processing? Oh, I need some water. How close are we to yield in flashback tape? Okay, every other is a rat. Be aware of that. Oh, I know what I have to do. There we go. That That's one way to do it. That's not even what I had in mind, but hey, that's one way to do it. Oh, I thought we were going vertical. We're not. We're going straight. Okay. I still have a Kuku -Ku also. Should I need him? There was nothing I could do there. I mean, I could have waited, but... I'm gonna keep going. I wanna see where the tape is. Like, just really quickly. And honestly, if I could finish the level to, like, not get every box, but if I could finish the level to see, like, oh, how many percent of the Wumpas I got, then that'd be great, too. Because I already, I already can't get every box without the blue gem, so there's no point even trying. There is a point in trying to get more, which is what I'm trying to do. Why'd I try that? Like a buffoon? Sometimes it's just getting over my head. I get way too cocky sometimes. It's not good. Take all that. Thank you. Also, a cuckoo doesn't matter when you get hit by a mine car. Oh, hey. Hi there, one up. Anything up there? Hidden gem, perhaps? No. Maybe up there. I don't know. All right, that time I got hit. That, that's like what should happen every time. I don't know. I don't understand those rats. Sometimes it looks like you get hit, but you don't. Hmm. There's Wumpas there? Oh, there's a box there. Well, I mean, like... Oh, that, that, that goes on fire. Okay. Duly noted. Trust no platform. Never trust a platform. Gotta be careful what platforms you decide to trust. Crash Bandicoot is too loyal. That's what it is. That was me being dumb. Just sliding into nothing. Sliding into the minecart that kills me. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. I'll take that. Don't do that. Oh, okay. Dude, these levels are so fun, but also challenging. Like, I can't Cortex Castle learn a thing or two. So for this, I do this, right? Yeah. That makes sense. And we're going to want to be aware of that fire panel. Hidden gems? No. Where's the hidden gem here? It's going to be very hard to find. This one also burns. They all burn! Wow, no flashbacks still. I was still way far off. I was still insanely far off in the flashback. I'll take it. It's fine. A little fire has never killed Crash Bandicoot. You know how many times this Bandicoot gets burned up? He, he should be fine. With a little life insurance and all that. What must I do to prove myself? Mother's name, Sharon. Childhood pet, frog with googly eyes. Favorite food, buttered noodles. Butter on the side. Butter on the side. Change the password to my diary. This proves it's snooping. 
What is your password for this? I, I bet something stupid. Also, was your mom Sharon Kruger from Cold Steel? That'd be awesome. If your mom was Sharon. Uh, a maid of the Rhymefur family? Like, having a maid as a mom is pretty cool. She makes the best food. I wish I had Sharon as a mom. Oh, that's the flashback tape. Wow. This is really far in the level. How close are we being done? I mean, surely we gotta be close. Well, I mean, I already explained that we can't get every box, so we're just gonna speed run the level next time. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. I also lost my death gem opportunity, which sucks. I may or may not get a second, um, gem. I'm not sure. Lots of Wumpas, but I don't know. Uh, hi. I'll be taking this. Thank you. Nailed it. Don't die like an idiot. Look at all this. Look at all these Wumpas. Too many Wumpas. Bye. That did not work the way I wanted it to. I hesitated, but I made it. The boy is coming through. Let's do that. Perfect. Oh dear, oh dear. I saved myself. Gotta wait till it starts moving. There we go. All your boxes belong to me, losers. All of them. I mean that. Yeah, this level is pretty hard to not die in. It's a very challenging level. Oh dear. Is there a hidden gem anywhere here? really use a hidden gem. All you rats need to get out of my face. How many did we miss? Oh, we missed the- oh, the blue- the- the colored gem door, right. Alright, didn't get the flashback. It's way too late. Oh, wow, I didn't even get the 60% Wumpas. That's surprising. Uh, let's just rush through the level and grab the flashback, because that's really what I care about. This level is way too hard to try and perfect. Way too difficult to try and perfect. So we're just gonna go, like, go straight to the end and try and um, just grab the flashback tape, finish the level, and then we will go to Cortex Castle, get that flashback tape, and then we'll just do all the flashback tapes. That is the plan. Welcome back, Raptor. Okay. Bye. Two hours in the stream, wow. Time just flies when I constantly die in this game. Why would I do that? I'm speedrunning, that's why. This is the best of me you're gonna get speedrunning. I'm not getting every box, but I'm speedrunning in the sense that I'm going fast. Gotta go fast, you know, like Sonic. Just like Sonic the Hedgehog. Peace out. Not gonna bother with that one up. What do you take me for, game? I don't have the colored gem, the blue gem, apparently, which I, I I forgot that I didn't have the blue gem. I thought I had it, but I guess not. I remember the blue gem being very annoying though. I've tried getting it on a few occasions. We might do that today. We have the time. I mean, I say if we have the time, but I didn't really say a certain time we're going for. More like if I feel like it. How do I do this? Oh, I, I could probably go behind you. Wait, I have to restart.
Plus, I really want a trophy. I want to just get a trophy. I have, like... I only need, like, ten of the trophies left, but all of them are, like, get the gems, or get all the, uh... Get the flashback tapes done. One is get all the death relics. One's get the time relics. So, trophies I need are, like, the complete... The really tedious completionist stuff. I think I need, like, one trophy that's, like, a miscellaneous thing. And the blue gem is a trophy in and of itself. So, you know. That's why I really want these flashback tapes. Also, I think one is doing, like... I, I did all the perspective levels, I think. How'd that work? What were the physics on that? You know. Either way, I really want to get the flashback tapes done. What happened there? I lost control of myself. Point is, I really want to get the flashback tapes done because, uh, I like the flashback tapes. And as far as completionist goes, it seems like the next e the easiest thing to do. It's not easy, which is crazy. Like, the easiest thing to do isn't even that easy because we have to, like, get to ends of levels without dying. But out of everything, like, getting all, all 228 gems or getting all the relics or the death relics, it's the easiest thing. Or the next best thing to go for, other than the blue gem. Blue gem should probably be first, but I want the flashback tapes. I just want to at least collect them all, and then we'll beat them. Maybe we won't beat them back to back. I just want to have them all. Yeah, Cortex. Start start regretting your life. This is not good. Nova is getting into speedrunning mode. And speedrunning mode is very dangerous because I die at really stupid parts. Alright, speed run, but like also use logic. Don't don't die the stupid parts of the level. We'll see about loyal cortex. We'll see. I'm gonna bother with these rats. I mean those I bothered with because they were simply in my way. Alright. I don't know what I was doing here. I forgot to spin. Don't don't do it. Dead. This part kind of gives me spook, especially when they start bringing the rats on the panels. Gonna explode. This time I'm gonna have to go like backwards if I could. Keyword if I could. I, I I could be patient here because this is the one where that doesn't explode. Is that even possible what I'm doing? All right. Don't go near him. Goodbye. I'm honestly going to skip the bonus level because we can't get every box anyway. We're just going to try and get the tape. That's what we're doing. That worked. Somehow. That worked too, somehow. Probably because I'm a genius. Up, 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 um, jump. Oh dear. I hate doing that. I have to be too perfect. Okay. Don't worry, chat. I'm not losing my sanity. I'm pretty chill. This is actually pretty fun. I, I have already talked about it, but I have a ton of fun playing Crash 4, even if I'm dying a lot. Of course, there are the select few occasions where I'm like, yeah, this is bad and I hate it. 
For the most part, though, it's classic Crash Bandicoot, and I love it. <laughs> you, the people who are like, I want to see Nova Rage, you're not going to see me get salty. Not today. I mean, maybe in Cortex Castle. I'll probably rage in Cortex Castle. Ba -ba -ba. Other than Cortex Castle, I don't see myself getting salty on any other part. Every other level in this game, probably other than Crash Landed, is really well designed. It turns out. It turns out Cortex Castle and, and probably Crash Landed being like my second or third least favorite level aren't that well designed. Crash Landed has a neat concept, but in theory, it's uh, very annoying to play sometimes with the whole uh, alien section. The little uh, whatever that thing is. It looks like a spore. Does anyone else hate Raptor? I know I do. I think about it every day. Bye. I'm taking the trip. Chat, I have a sneeze coming in. I hope I don't sneeze. I'm a bit of a cold. I don't want my sneezes to start coming in. That'd be less than ideal. Oops. Did not mean to get this guy. Oh, right. Time trials don't count. Um, about that. Raptor, you think you're funny. Saying sneeze is not going to make me sneeze. It's not going to work. My sneeze is already gone. It was just for a little bit. Very little things make me sneeze. If I sneeze, I sneeze. I just have to sneeze sometimes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really just depends what my immune system is doing at the time. Or how sick I am. Which I'm not, I'm like sick, but I'm not super sick. If I was super sick, I wouldn't be streaming right now. I'm not sick enough. Oh, I missed this box. I knew there was a box there. Part of me doubted it, but there was actually a box there. But yeah, if I was super sick, I wouldn't be streaming. I'm not so sick that I'm like... You know, because I'm, I'm clearly streaming and being able to commentate. But I definitely do have a bit of a cold coming in. Goodbye. Whoops, did not mean to quit. Part of me is like, let's go to Cortex Castle before this, but we are going to go to Cortex Castle. We are, but like, I'd rather do this first. Cortex Castle is going to be a nightmare. You guys might get a bit of a, a bit of an amusing show with me losing it over Cortex Castle. Of course, if I get too salty, I'll just trim it out. Just like I did for some other stuff. See, I try to prevent myself from getting too salty. There's a difference between salty and too salty. Like, an, an amount of salty that's like either it's fine to be on my channel, but... Or it's just not too much a big a deal. But there are times where I'm like, yeah, I've went too far and I don't want this on my video. And I don't want people thinking of me the wrong way. So, you know. Like that one time in Cold Steel 2 fighting that Ruby Knight. Like fighting Heavy Ruby. Or in the original Cold Steel fighting the Cherubic Gate, which really got me mad. Which I did not make in the videos because of how I got. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, you're the annoying rat, right? This is, this is the part that's like really sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. Game, please. Crash, what are you doing? Come on. There we go.
Bye. This part also spooky. Very spooky. Dude, why is the flashback tape so far? Oh dear. I did it. I'm a genius. I'm I'm a genius and the best crass player to ever exist. I should have my name in the leaderboards. Come on. Coming at you. Spin. Got that bat on time. Not even gonna bother with the bonus level. As I said, we can't get every box. If I could just not die till I get to the flashback tape. Oh, I want that Akuma Ku mask. I want it. Fine. I'll take those extra lives, though, because I lost quite a few. By quite a few, I don't mean that many, but I lost some. Being the point. This part gets to me. Right here. One up, please. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Got it. Please. Nailed it. I don't know why I'm bothering with the boxes if I can't get every box, but oh well, I am. Oh, not the fire. Actually, it didn't work out so bad. Perfect. I almost grand slammed that, and that would have been hilarious. Oh dear. Oh dear. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I don't need I don't need this torture. I do not need this torture. Okay, good. Everything's fine. What must I do to prove myself? Mother's name, Sharon. Childhood pet rock with googly eyes. Dude, Cortex's pet is a rock with googly eyes. I love that. You know, in a certain country they say if you sneeze if someone's talking about you, or maybe there's a certain tingly feeling in a person's nose. Yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, you, you need to take something into consideration. Raptor is not physically at my house right now, and he cannot tickle a feather. Obviously, if someone tickles a feather, I'm at... Hang on. Got it. Um, obviously, if someone tickles a feather in my mouth or something like that, yes, I will sneeze. But Raptor is not physically at my house, <laughs> so... That is not gonna work. Uh, the thing about, like... I have never really sneezed. It, me, it's literally just two occasions. Other than using, like, a catalyst. Like, the, the feather being the catalyst. I have never had it where if someone talked to me or something or talking about me, I never sneeze. That doesn't happen for me. It could happen for some people, probably. For me, though, not really. I'm very, uh, it's either I sneeze or don't, unless a certain catalyst is involved. And by catalyst, I mean, like, something to get me to sneeze. Like a feather or something that tingles. What is that skin? All right, chat. We're gonna go to Cortex Castle. See how it goes. Let's just get it over with. Oh dear, Cortex Castle. I bet this is right near the section and I'm gonna hate it. Dude, imagine trying to perfect relic this level. Just imagine. Oh, hey, Lonnie Loli. How's it going, dude? There goes my death. It's not even close to the part I was talking about. This is the final level of the game. I get it's supposed to be hard, but that, again, like, I really just think if you're a casual, you're going to be like, come on, the level's not that bad. You could just skip every box. Yeah, a uh, random person I just made up. Think about if you try to 100% the level. What then? If you try to 100% the level and try to die... Like, get every box without dying, or just not die at all, is very, very difficult. So I feel like completionists hate this level more. Definitely. If you're a casual gamer, you'll be like, it's not too bad. I have that. You're probably wondering why I only- How many, um- Actually, no, I got a lot more gems than I thought. Never mind. I thought I got- Oh dear, that was- I was too busy talking about how many gems I got, and I lost focus of where I was. Never mind, I got more gems than I thought. The only ones I missed were the death gem, because there's no way I beat this level without dying less than three times. 
And the hidden... Did I get the hidden gem? I did get the hidden gem. And it was the all boxes gem. There's no way I got that one either because of the segment that happens later. By the way, while I'm uh, playing this game, anyone who has a Switch, PS4, PS5, I think Xbox as well, or I don't know if this is on PC as well. Anyone who has like a Switch or something, basically a console, buy Crash 4 and play it. It's such a good game. Definitely one of the best platformers ever. Anyone watching this and is like, yo, I, I, I like this, this game looks good, buy it. It's really good. Would highly, highly recommend. You will probably die a lot, but you don't have to 100% the game. I should be trying to get all the boxes, but part of me is like, ah, dude. Just try and get through the level. Oh, goodbye. Alright, I'm gonna try and get all the boxes. I don't remember how, um... How there are hidden boxes or anything. I, don't, I also don't remember the bonus level. But um, we're going to try. Because we don't need a colored gem. Theoretically it should be possible. Also getting a better idea of where the hidden boxes are. Will be nice. Alright. Ooh, we got some boxes up there. Stand on this without dying. How does your boy get up there? Interesting. Going through. Ah, oh, it stays. Okay, never mind. How do I get that? Do I have to go from, like, the second segment? That's possibly what I have to do. Yeah, we're definitely not going to finish all the flashback tapes at this rate. We're going to probably get to start some of them. I haven't even decided how long I'm going. It literally just depends on mostly one thing. However, whenever I start getting hungry and, like... I don't want to say sick of the game because, like, I'm having fun. Whenever I start to get hungry, though, is when I stop. We'll reach three hours at minimum, I think. Oh, you guys will get at least a three-hour stream. How do I get that? Why did I do that? How do you get that box? I have no clue how you get that. I do like the theme that plays in Cortex Castle. That's probably the only praise I can give to the level. And it looks nice. That too. But all the Crash 4 levels look nice. Okay. So apparently there's a way to get this, like... You know... There's a way to get this without, like, dying. Reaching it, for starters. I have to use this one, right? Oh, the crap. Okay, you could reach that. Alright, alright. That's gonna be super hard. I have to, like... Okay, I have to be here. You have to, like... You have to, like, get the corner of that. Uh, yeah, I just died. I think I had it, but I moved to the left a little more. Dude, this is going to be hard. Imagine redoing this level after dying. What I'm trying to get at is, imagine trying to perfect relic this. You start to see the problems of Cortex Castle. Or completionist. Oh, I was close. I was almost dumb. Got it. That is rough. Oh, 
Uh, hi. Can I grab that? Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Hi there. Fine. Thank you. Alright. Hi, Time Lady. Forgot your name. I only remember Lonnie Loli's name. And Akano. Isn't the Dark One named Akano? Pretty sure the Dark One's name Akano. The Dark Matter Mask? I, I don't remember the Time Lady or the, uh, the Gravity Guy's name. Oh, there's a box up there! Interesting. Oh dear, oh dear. It was way too late to do anything during that. Oh, we have to get the annoying box again. The annoying light one-up box. All right, just, just, just don't screw up. I always want to know what, what game actually made you use it. Basically, the game made you put controller down, and not come back until the next day. Well, I'll tell you right now, not this game. This is not that game. This is not the game where I'm like, I mean, look, I will, I'm not going to say this game is perfect. It's not. I will get mad at it, but I will never like straight up put the controller down. There, there are some games I would do that. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, like. The next day is being generous. I would do that with this game. Yeah, like, there are games where I would play them and not touch them for like a month or something. This is not one of those games. This is the kind of game where I'm like, yeah, a day. Like, your question is like, your question is like the next day. There are a lot of games that I'll be like, yeah, I'll put them down for... Again, not saying, like, I'll play them one day and then play them the next. Like, get mad at them and put them down and play them the next day. Those are games that I really like and I just get mad at them at one occasion. Like this one. This one would be a good example of that. However, there might be a game. I can't think. Um, I want to say Valkyria Chronicles, but I just didn't like Valkyria Chronicles, so I never went back to it. Because I didn't like that game enough. I'm trying to think, though. There might be a game that I put down for, like, a long time and haven't touched it. Playthrough-wise or not. I don't remember. Second stream Nocturne after getting killed by Matador. Yeah, I guess there's that. Again, Nocturne's a good example too, yeah. Oh dear, I didn't realize that was there. Yeah, Nocturne's an example. That's a good one. Like Crash 4, I wouldn't put down Nocturne for like a month. I would put it down for like a day, maybe two. Other than that, I can't give an answer of a game that I would put down. I, I'm going to be thinking about it as I play, but I can't think of a game where I'm like, yeah, I'm not touching this for a few weeks or a month even. Oh, dear. Nailed it. Hi there. I'm going to break that. What on earth? What? Okay. Hmm. Simple strat, simple strat. Bounce. Oh, I'm too good. This part gets me. Oh, I had to slide on top of the nitros, right? A day is generous i'm concerned for a month i'm at beyond a month i mean yeah i mean a day is a day like think of it like this you play a video game you get to either a really hard boss or a really hard level and you just get so mad and you're like i have to put the game down that happens a lot of times like 
That happens a lot of times where you're playing a game and you're like, yeah, I gotta just take a break for today and come back tomorrow. Like, I, I think that's totally fair. Like, that's, like, the normal standard. There are games that, like, yeah, you can't touch them for a while because something either makes you so mad and you just don't want to touch it. Beyond the month? I'm gonna give you the same answer I gave before. There's probably a game somewhere in my head that I have dropped for either a month or more, but I cannot think of it. I, I cannot remember, but there's something. What? I'm so confused what to do here. Again, I really just can't think of this game. There's probably one that's like right the, at the chin of my... Like at the top of my... Tip of my tongue. That, that's how the saying goes. I cannot think of it to save my life. Either a platformer, probably a platformer more than an RPG. There we go. Okay, but I have to be careful for that robot. Alright. Turns out you can slide jump that. I think I remember doing that for, um... I think Mega Man Zero 2 specifically would be an example because when I played Mega Man Zero 2, I got to the final boss and I, uh, this was back when I played on my Game Boy. This was back before the collection came out, but I played Mega Man Zero games. I'm, I'm going to say Zero games in general, more Zero 1 and 2 than 3 and 4, more the first two games. I played them, and when I lost to the final boss in them, I would get mad and drop them for like at least two months. Because you can't skip cutscenes in those games, and you would have to rapidly press X to get back to where you were. However, 0, 3, and 4 changed that, and you could actually skip cutscenes. So that's why I think, if anything, those two 0 games got to me more than 0, 3, and 4. How's that hit me? I didn't think that would hit me. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to unslow it down once I pass the nitros. Yeah, zero ones. I could never. When I was younger, I could never beat zero ones final boss. Like Copy X himself was fine, but Copy X's like second form was really hard. That was wrong. Copy X's second form on X one was hard. Not X one. Zero one was hard. Um, zero two El Paizo wasn't as difficult as X, but. He X as copy X, but he was like, when I was younger, I couldn't beat him. But keep in mind, I was like 10 years old or something. Probably even like a little older, but I was like a preteen. So, you know. But even now, copy X is first. The second phase is kind of difficult. El Paizo isn't like super difficult. And 0-3's second phase of the final boss is really annoying. Don't remember much about 04s, oddly enough. 03 had great final bosses. Except for the second phase. The second phase was lame. Alright, get this right this time. There we go. So I guess those, maybe those are the games I'm thinking of, I can't remember. There we go. That's where you're, okay. I have to react fast to that. I know what I have to do. Change time, like I just did, but then I have to change, I have to slow it down again once I get the box so the lightning doesn't hit me. That's what I have to do. I timed that horribly. Now. Nailed it. Oh dear. Everything was happening so fast. I need I need to like take a chill breath and rechat. To be honest, I would be stubborn and keep going with it. I would keep going either when my parents pulled the plug or the boss gave up. Yeah. 
Me too. I, uh, I try not to, uh, when I was younger especially, I didn't really quit playing, um, a game until I was either, like, had to go to bed for school, or I got mad at it. I was, like, hooked to video games. Um, do I want to do that? Yeah. What did I do? <laughs> that was spooky. Yeah, I would not put the controller down. I would get hooked so many times. Oh, man. Those were the days. I was one crazy kid. Official speedrun strats. That was a mistake. I'm hesitating. That's the problem. Hang on. I think I know what to do. I should get the um one. Oh no, but I can't get the one ups unless I get the exclamation right. Do they appear or are they always there? If so, I should get the one ups before I attempt to grand slam. I grand slam because I was hesitating during that segment. So much was happening and I did not know what I should do first. Too good. Yeah, they're right there. Okay. Okay. Do this. Not like that, though. That's the better way to do it. You have to get the one-ups, or at least you probably could do it. You could probably jump and spin and still make it, but I'm going to make my life easier and try and get the one-ups first. I should have slowed down. I should have unslowed down time and then slowed it down. Or sped up time. Alright. That was, that was not how you do that. You gotta wait till the third one lifts. On the bright side, we almost got all the flashback tapes. Again, we have to do them. We have to actually do the flashback tapes, which I don't expect to beat them first try. But uh, we almost got them all. That's something. But then the fun starts because to, we still have to like not die when it comes to getting relics. So our quest for doing levels without dying is not over. I'm honestly, I'm honestly saving the death relics for last. I'll try and get a few here and there of, of like levels I like and levels I can handle. Like, I already got Offbeat some. Offbeat is my favorite level in this game. I already got its Death Relic. But, um, we're gonna save that for last. I think the order we're gonna do this is... We're definitely gonna do Flashback Tapes, then we're gonna go back for the Blue Gem. We might go back for the Blue Gem after this level, honestly. And we'll do the Flashback Tapes, like, in the next VOD or something. Because by the time we're done with this, I'll probably be over three hours, and maybe I'll be like, yeah, I think I'm done for today. <laughs> That was not how you do that. The less progress we make, the more I get to play this game. So, you know, I'm fine with our streams being like little, little progress stumps. Like, you know, like make little achieve, like have goals, but don't exactly finish the goals, but get close to them. Like I did want to do all the flashbacks today, but our goal is basically getting the flashback tape and then we'll do them in another stream. By the time we're done with this, we'll be over three hours probably. Since this is Cortex Castle. We haven't even gotten to the super hard part that I hate. Also, we haven't even found the flashback. So, you know. And we're at like the 2 hour 40 minute mark. Oh dear. I don't know why I didn't press triangle slash uh, R2 sooner. 
Alright. That time was good. Gotta wait till he shoots. Oh, what happened there? I lost my depth perception. I'm, I'm side scrolled, so I don't really. I can't land. Okay, okay. Think, think, think. Let's do it. I doubt the flashback tape is like before that sector. I really doubt it. I'll be happy. But I doubt it. I bet it's in that section. It can't be after it because that section is the very end. And flashback tapes are never like right in front of the end of the level. The closest they are is at the 90% mark. They're never like right in front of the end of the level. That's never how they work. Why can I not do that now? I was always so good at that. I just stopped being good. Oh man, I need to adjust myself. I've been sitting for far too long. By far too long, I mean like not even three hours, but you, you know what I mean. Still, I'm very stiff because I'm playing a platformer. It takes a lot of energy out of me. Oh yeah, chat, uh, I'm gonna say this now. They've released a mobile Tales of game. Uh, I heard about it. It's called like Tales of Luminara or whatever. Could not care less. I heard it was a mess. It's a mobile game, so you already know it's a mess. But um, I am not going to even bother with it. As big a fan as I am of the series, I'm not bothering with a mobile Tales of game. It's a gotcha game. I don't like gotcha games. So, you know. Oh, what I do there? I hesitated because that thing was there. But yeah, um, not messing with it. It is free, but I still don't care. I saw gameplay stuff. It looks like a mess, especially with the way you play it on a phone. It's not even like a turn-based or tactical game. It's it's literally like a, it functions similar to a mainline Tales of game. It's just not on the console for some reason, though. So I'm like hard pass. All right. Nice. Nice again. I could go down there. That's what I should do. Oh, but I need no. Never mind. I can't do that. I need the uh, I need the heavy crates. And getting the heavy crates along with the um, two in the bottom is easily the best way to do this. I had my chance there, but I missed it. Please. Thank you. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, I couldn't do that. All right. I should not have tried that. It's so much happening. There's the thing shooting electric balls, and then there's those smashy blocks. I don't know how to get there. I, I tried the slide, but then I knew, I immediately knew, yeah, it's a mistake. Don't do that or you'll die. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, um I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna hate on the mobile game too much. If you like mobile games and gotcha games, good for you. More power to you. I know exactly the I know there's a fan base of people who like gotcha stuff. I uh I didn't like tail one 
playing Tales of the Rays, if anyone remembers Tales of the Rays, I played that one, and I, that's when I decided, yeah, I don't like gacha games, and I played Crystoria, and I was like, yeah, I'm sick of gacha games, so I just vowed to never really play mobile games or gacha games. But even still, uh, a lot of people have been, like, saying the game is a mess, stuff about the UI and the gameplay being a mess, because the gameplay functions like a normal Tales of, except it's a phone. And apparently you have to play in like portrait mode rather than landscape mode because tales of the rays had you play in landscape mode which kind of worked but luminaria is like nah you gotta play with your portrait mode phone phone very odd plus there are some like uh weird graphical issues as well from what i've heard this is just what i heard from reviewers and i was just like yeah definitely hard pass especially because it's a mobile game mobile game is enough plus it's not like a crossover game Normally what Tales of does is they make the games like crossovers, like having veteran characters, like Tales of the Rays and Crystoria, they had every character involved, like Velvet, Jude, Asbel, all them, but like, nah, they didn't do that, but Luminaria is like a, an original game. It functions like a mainline or spin-off Tales of with its original cast, just on a phone, which I would have easily played it if it wasn't on the phone, obviously. Be not. I guess they were working on Tales of Arise, and they didn't really have anywhere else to put Luminaria without it being, like, crazy delayed. But still. Dude, I'm gonna say this. I would love it if we got our next Tales of game, like, next. However, if Bandai wants to work on some remasters, I'd be down for that. Like, they made Tales of Arise, which was, like, a phenomenal game. One of the best. It made one of the best Tales of games ever. Like, two, two amazingly Tales of games that have made it in my top five Tales of all, of all time. Berseria stands on my second, and Arise stands at third. They made two phenomenal Tales of games, like, back to back. They want to, like, take a break? That's fine by me. Just work on some ports or remasters, please. Pour, like, Destiny or Fantasia or Eternia to the PS... Uh, make it, like, a collection. Or port Zillias to the PS5. Or Graces, I would die. Or Abyss. Basically, Tales of Ports and Remasters are fine by me. Like, they made two phenomenal Tales of games back-to-back, -back, basically. So, I'm fine with them being like, yeah, we're gonna work on Ports and Remasters now. I'd be totally okay with that. There we go. Got it. Alright. Oh, dear! That is hard. You have to be really quick with that. Wait, hang on. I might know what to do, but it depends what's under that first nitro. But yeah, Bandai deserves a break. They did so well with Arise and Berseria. You know, Zestiria is not bad. I, I've gone on record to say I actually kind of like Zestiria, but I know it wasn't the ideal Tales of game, and that's fair. But, um... But, yeah. Berseria and Arise were phenomenal, so... Shinku's here, so I don't want to spoil Arise, but... It's not a spoiler to say Arise is one of the best Tales of games, because that's... First of all, it's an opinion. Second of all... It's uh, very vague. I'm not actually talking about the game itself. I'm just talking about Arise being phenomenal. Arise got, like, really good reviews, too. I think it sold, like... I don't know the exact number, but it sold, like, 17 million copies? Something like that. It sold a lot of copies. It did very good at the goal it was going for, which was trying to get newcomers to the series. I think it succeeded. It's easily one of the best-selling ones since, like, Symphonia. Which is great. Well deserved. It's such a good game. Not perfect. It does have problems, but the problems are so minimal that, like, the game is still great. I saved myself. I almost died there. I, I, sometimes I can do that. Sometimes I can't. It's just like a coin flip. And that was the very end. That was at the very end of the level. Oh my goodness. We haven't even gotten back to the main Cortex Castle part where the main section that I really hate is. I thought that main Tales of game play that main Tales of game played me for a fool. I thought it was a new one coming right after a rise. Yeah, I thought so too, honestly. I saw stuff about it and people were like, yeah, it's a mobile game, and I'm like, oh, I immediately don't care. 
But a while back, I thought, wow, they're making another Tales of after a rise already. Like, that's what I thought. But no, it's just a mobile game, which is really lame. But hey, whatever. They made a rise. I can't really complain. Having two... They gotta have time to develop other games. Because if, if they make a game too close to a rise, chances of it being good are very low. So, you know. All is fair. There we go. I was hesitating a bit because of that electric enemy. It's a box. Oh, why do I do that? Why do I do that? I think I could stand right in front of the crushy blocks and I won't get damage. It looks like I will. Because I don't think his electric ball reaches that far. Dude, this is... This is easily the hardest bonus level, and this is the last bonus level, so it, it makes sense. It's not like, yo, Cortex Castle's easy, but the bo- No, I said that backwards. It's not like Cortex Castle's the hardest level, but the bonus level's, like, easy. No, this bonus level is actually, like, probably- Maybe not straight up the hardest, one of the hardest, though. That jump I just can't do sometimes. Yeah, I don't know, chat. I think we're going to do this. Depending on when we get out of here, I might go for the blue gem. Try that a few times, and then I think we're going to wrap up. We're going to have to tackle the flashbacks next time. Which, I think we're going to do another VOD before si SM... I almost said Symphonia for some reason. But, um, before SMT5 releases, there might be one more VOD. Because, uh, we're making great progress in FF10. That was a mistake. Yeah, no, that electric ball might still kill me. It's got quite the burst. But yeah, I think we'll do one more VOD before SMT5 comes out. I did this yesterday, but uh, tomorrow will be... Yeah, we'll do like FF10 like at least two to three more times. I think we'll just do um, another Crash 4. I still have to finish Lufia, which shouldn't take long. Even if we finish Lufia early, I'll just do Crash 4 that day, the same day. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Either way, there'll be at least one more VOD before SMT5. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna focus here. I... <laughs> maybe I just shouldn't talk. Like, maybe I shouldn't talk. Unless chat asks me a question or wants to strike conversation. My throat is killing me. I need some water. Okay. kind of build will you go for five magic physical mix or something else i don't know dude i haven't thought about that I i'm just excited to play smt5 i haven't thought about a build probably a mix honestly it just which sounds like the best option i don't know though when i think of playing smt5 i don't really think that far ahead i just think man i can't wait to play this game and just play it once I'm actually playing the game, I'll be like, yeah, I can't wait to do this. Can't wait to get this demon. I mean, I'm already looking forward to getting Thor. Hopefully Thor's in the game. I hope he is. I'll be upset if he's not.
Okay. Don't do that. Oh dear! Got it. Okay. So this is where I have to focus. I was gonna say... I, I know what I can do. Yeah, okay. There we go, we done, we done, let's go. Oh my goodness. Imagine if I die at like this section. Dude, we're, we're, I don't know if we're at the section yet and I don't know where the flashback is. I, I still think it's in the section and I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna hate toys for Bob. Oh dear, oh dear. Goodbye. All right, I'm gonna keep going. I wanna know where the flashback is. I have to short hop these. I, I was overestimating. I'm gonna see where the tape is. I bet it's in that section. And I'll be like, yeah, there's no way I'm 100% uh, in this level. But I do want the tape, so I'm gonna have to restart regardless. And no one's gonna listen to you, Cortex. You're a goner. Hi, loser. Time to knock you down and send you back to the Dark Ages. There we go. Nice knowing you. Not really. Hi there. Should probably get these first. Hang on. Do you, do you mind? Okay, there we go. That's gone. Nailed it. Oh, uh, okay. I could reach either way. It's fine. Oh my goodness. Vortex Castle, calm down. I know you're the final level, but still, it's not that serious. I don't want to do that. I know the game. The game's like, yeah, jump on those boxes, and I'm like, no, no, loser, I'm not gonna do that. Oh dear. Nailed it. I could probably get the death gem, which would be really nice. I would have to perfect that section, though. So. Hi. How's it going? I'm gonna wait till this burst so I don't have to mess myself up. I'm too good. Dude, where is this uh thing? Oh dear. That's fine. There we go. Oh, this is the part where Cortex switches in. We're not doing we're not doing a double pass, so we don't have to do the Cortex section. I mean, obviously, we would have done it by now. Game, you should have put it right here. You should have put the flashbacks right here. I hate all of you. I hate everyone at Toys for Bob. I hate them all. They should have put the flashback right here. I would have been like, okay, that's good. No, it's in the middle of the section. I hate it. Oh my word, it's actually here. Might as well try and get the, um, thing. Oh dear. What happened there? I stepped in the laser, that's what. Bye, yeah, there goes my death gem. I mean, like, I'm gonna keep going, but, like, I really shouldn't. Bye again. When will I learn? That hit me? I thought I was on the thing, or maybe I wasn't. Who knows? You gotta, like, speedrun this part. But, oh my goodness. Oh dear. Got it. Nailed it. I nailed it. I nailed it. No one could say otherwise. Oh my goodness. Time lady, please. What is happening? What is happening? Dude, imagine getting all these boxes and actually, like, not dying or something. Bye. 
This is chaos, by the way. Chaotic, even. Oh dear. I missed a phase mask. I thought it would give me Lonnie Lowly no matter what, but I guess not. You have to literally be on top of him, which is a little annoying. Chat, I have to focus. I have to focus! I, I, whatever, it's fine. Where is this tape? What's the connection between the protagonist and the rise? Uh, I would have to spoil it to tell you. Do you mean like what's their status? Like what their like relationship is? Like brother, sister? Is that what you mean? I would have to spoil the game. If you don't mind me doing that, I gladly will. Oh my goodness. I, I, I knew I was like, um... But yeah, I would have to, uh, I would have to spoil to go deep. Uh, they don't know each other at first. I will say that. They're, they, they're not like brother and sister. They don't know each other. They start off like they meet each other in the game, but I mean... I would have to spoil it to tell you. And I thought, I didn't think you wanted that Shinku song. I didn't say it. But if you want me to, I will. Oh, by connection, do you just mean, like... I have to focus. But, um... Let's just say that, um... A certain plot element in the game... That one of the main characters can use is only accessible from the other main character. So, basically, let me just put it like this. They are like a duo. They need each other. More like one of the main characters needs the other main character. For a certain something in the game. Again, I don't want to go further unless you don't mind me spoiling. But, um... They're not siblings. They're like, they're like complete strangers. What happened there? It's fine. I'm amazing. I'm amazing! Oh, that's the tape! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh wow, this section actually wasn't that bad. Two boxes! I missed two boxes! I think I know which ones they were. Okay. That section, don't get me wrong, that section is still really bad, really annoying to not die in, but... I can probably, I would have to study it, but I can master it. I'm trying to do whatever I can to throw you off, so it's worth sacrificing. How dare you, Shinku? I will spoil you. Don't test me. I will actually spoil you for that. Not actually, but... Don't test me. I will spoil you on a rise. I will gush about a rise. With that kind of response. Since you're trying to throw me off. I'm kidding. I actually won't. I can't believe you. I can't believe Raptors got to you. Does my chat just get... Is my chat just um getting influenced by Raptor? Raptor's like taking over my whole chat and like making everyone just like him, which is not ideal for my fan base. I have to deal with Raptor already. I don't need like 5,000 Raptors. Basically, if the player takes control of character A and your character B dies, character A will- What? No. No. No, 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 no. They need e I, I really have to go into spoiler territory to explain it. Like, they don't need each other to live or anything like that, but like, one of the main characters, for the kind of power, for his power, he needs- He needs, um, the other main character. With the power he gets, he doesn't always have the power. He recently gets it in the game. He only, he gets it in the beginning of a rise. Goodbye.
the tree start? Missed the box. Uh, first of all, where? Second of all, I'm trying to get the flashback tapes. I'm not worried about the boxes right now. But, um... Goodbye. But, um... I'll find it. I know I missed two boxes at the end of the level. I think I know where they are. Right now, I'm just trying to get the tape. I don't really care about the boxes. I'll try getting any boxes I find, but... Also, Zyperados, that's your first time chatting. Welcome to the stream. Hope you uh, enjoy the stream. Welcome. I'm assuming this is your first time. At least your first time chatting, because that's what my Twitch chat says. But welcome. Hope you enjoy. Okay. I hate doing this. Never mind, it's actually really easy if you're a gamer, which I am. Uh, where... Zyperados said I missed a box. I mean, I would like to get the box if I could. Oh, to lower my trips here. I don't know where I missed it. Oh, is it? Was that the one? That might have been the one. A room with three discs? Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Thank you, thank you. I know which one you're talking about. Oh, that's right, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gotten that one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gotten this one. I've gotten this one before, but I forgot it in this attempt. Thank you. Thank you, chat. I mean, if I could get every box, I would love to. But, like, I'm being... Goodbye. But, um, if I'm being realistic, it's probably not gonna happen. This is our last tape. It's so fitting that we get it in Cortex Castle, but man, it's in the it's in the really annoying section. Which again, it's not as bad as I remembered it, but it's so late into the level. It still is really hard to not die during that. At least for me, who I'm not a crash veteran. Yeah, so uh back to the other attempt. I know which boxes I missed. I missed two of them in that section. I literally saw them. I just didn't get them because, like, things were happening so fast, and I didn't have time to react. Didn't make it that time. I do like Cortex Castle's OST. Oh, goodbye. I moved left one more time than I should have. But yeah, last flashback tape, man, I, I thought we would have had it by now, but I mean, I died, so. Cortex Castle is not exactly an easy level. Oh, what was going on there, Nova? How would you do that? Oh, we have to do this stupid bonus level again. I mean, not stupid, but we have to do it again. That's annoying. That bonus level took all my focus. Alright. Air. Perfect, perfect. Don't 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 be risky. Don't, I just said don't be risky and I was risky. I mean like I'm trying to think to myself, like Is there anything else we need here? Yeah, we need the all box gem and the death gem. The boxes in Cortex Castles are not very hidden. However, they're hard to get because of the level itself. This is actually really fair with the box placements. The only problem is the level is not easy. So getting all the boxes and not dying, or just getting all the boxes in general without dying like the perfect relic is difficult. Like, I could see all the boxes. There's no boxes like the tire one that are really hard to find. They're all pretty visible. If I... Uh, of course, if you actually try to look for them. But, um... Like, for, for a Crash 4 level, they're all pretty visible. The only problem is... 
The only problem is, um, the actual level is difficult. So actually being able to pull off a attempt with no deaths and every single box, a lot easier said than done. All right. What? Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna need to focus here. That's the one I need to get. I need to be careful with this box. It's so high up. Okay. Oh, this one. Of course. Don't do that. Don't do that either. Alright. Nailed it. How's it going? Goodbye. Any others in here? No? I think wait till it's in the set. Okay. My jump just didn't work. Crash 4, why do you do this to me? You're such a great game, but man, I hate Cortex Castle. It's actually like my worst nightmare. I need a chance to breathe there. I can make that jump if I wanted to, but I'm done trying to be risky because I want to be- I want to beat this level like today. <laughs> I want to get all the boxes in a mean- in a manning- manner full time. In a timely manner, that's what I meant to say. Alley-oop. Alright, don't- don't go for it, it's gonna explode. Now go for it. Oh dear, that was not smart. Can I stand on that? You probably can. You'll never find me, Neo Cortex. This castle is a maze. I alone know all of its secrets. Is anyone else tired of hearing Cortex talk? I know I am. I never get tired of hearing him talk, but man. Cortex, you're great, but please, like, I, I need to beat this level, like, today. Alright, no problems with that anymore. Every now and then I'll get the occasional problem. Okay. There we go. You just gotta maximize your jump there. Oh, that was a screw-up. That was a screw-up in the half. I pressed R2 way too soon. Dude, thank goodness the PS5 version came out. Because one of the problems with the PS4 version, the load times were way too long. Thank goodness the PS5 version exists and cuts the load times. I cannot imagine waiting through like a minute. I kid you not, I think the Crash 4 loading screens are like 30, 30 to 30 seconds to a minute. Alright, a minute is probably being generous. They're probably close to a minute, if not a minute. All I remember is that they were really long. They were at least 30 seconds. This game, they're like, not even 10 seconds. They're more like 3 to 5 seconds. Which I can handle a lot more. Ba -ba -bum. Come on. Hey, thank you. Sometimes I'll make the occasional mistake with the phase mask. I don't know why it happens. It just does. Like, I'll press R2 way sooner than I'm supposed to. There we go. Here's the voice of the angel. You know you want to listen to Cortex all day? Yeah, I do like Cortex. Nothing against his voice, it really is just the level. <laughs> like, I'm tired of doing the level, I just do not like Cortex Castle. It was more... It was more a figure of speech to show how sick of the level I am. Cortex is a great villain. He's really hilarious. I don't think I forgot about the ripe banana joke, though. I hate that. 
is he has ruined bananas, probably for all eternity from me. I think this through. Is that what I have to do? Yeah. Oh dear, never mind, you don't make it. That one scares me. Oh, flashback tapes. Really unfortunate. I wanted to at least do some of the flashback tapes, but I don't think I'm going to today. We're collecting them all, so it's fine, but I really wanted to do a few of them at least. Wait. Yes, triangular fossa. We get it. Bye. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ellie, you. I'm getting better at that. Which is good, because it, before I was terrible at it. Okay. Man, sometimes I'm just a daredevil when it comes to stunts. Other times I'm like, I'm gonna play it safe. You know how it is. I almost got sliced in two, and that would have been very, very bad. Oh dear. There we go. Nailed it. Oh my goodness, that Wumpa took so long because of the time thing. I can jump on the Nitro, I'm aware, but I get so nervous with those. Man, Cortex Castle is just a death hazard. Look at all this sharp stuff. You would not want to bring a child here. Well, chat, what do you want to talk about? We could be here a while. What happened there? Me being an idiot, other than that, though, don't know. That's what I meant to do before, and I just didn't do it. I'm through. Never mind. Excuse me? Die. Okay, never mind. Why didn't you die? That was weird. I mean, whatever. I'm past it, but not my point. The point is, why didn't you die? I wasn't sure if I was safe, but I was. Wait, you know what? Do this like a normal person. Clearly how you're supposed to do that. Alright. Don't screw this up. Oh, dear. Dude, the, the um, area the area for that is so like small, and it's so hard to get it. This you have to wait till it's like in the center or more. There we go. Okay. Oh, we have to do this stupid bonus level again. Mm 
Okay. Let's get this over with. Up, up, up. I have a question for everyone in chat. What's the hardest game you ever played? I want some answers. Goodbye. Hardest game your boy has ever played that I actually finished. I played Dark Souls. I don't like Dark Souls. I tried Dark Souls 3 and I did not like it. I tried Bloodborne, did not like it. Hardest game for me would have to be, I think the hardest game I ever finished. Try to throw back. Nocturne would be up there. Nocturne probably wouldn't be the hardest game, but Nocturne would definitely be up there. Especially the early game. Are this in what context? Term of engagement or gameplay? Gameplay more. Like hard. Like actual d difficult games. Like what games were the most difficult that you actually finished? It doesn't have to be like a super... It doesn't have to be the hardest game ever. Just like at least a nominee. Like what you would consider a hard game from what you played. Don't know what my definitive hard hardest game would be. I don't have an answer to my own question. I just want, I want to get my chat interacting. I don't have to sit on it though. I've played lots of games. Obviously there are games you can adjust the difficulty. So, you know, there's that, but you know, that, that can count. while I redo this bonus level. Alright. He is not screwing this up. I shouldn't have done that. I held X during that. Whoops. My mistake. That's the thing, I don't really play difficult games. The difficult games I can think of saying that I beat, other than Nocturne, which was recently, are like platformers. A lot of RPGs I play were like hard back then, but playing them now, they're not so difficult. It's one of those cases where like, it used to be hard because I was a child when I played them, but now playing them, they're like, a, not easy necessarily, but they're not that hard. That's really the instance with a lot of the games I used to play. RPG specifically. Like, platformers are what I associate with, with a challenge, mostly. Especially Crash 1. I think I know the key to doing that. You have to like run and then slide. Oh dear. It was over. It was over. I couldn't do anything. Hang on. Not quite. Maybe. No, it's still over. Mmm. No, it's not possible. I'm gonna try, but I doubt I can do anything. But X, yeah. That's not gonna work. I want all the boxes. Probably Crash Wrath of Quartet. Could never finish it when I was young. Maybe Tropical Freeze, only do some of the bonus levels. Yeah, um, Crash of Wrath of Cortex is definitely one of the games I was talking about where, like, 
I felt like it was difficult when I was younger, but again, that might have been because I was young. Playing it now, it's like possibly one of the easiest Crash games. I don't know if that's like a hot take or anything, but Rather Cortex is definitely not difficult playing it today. Like I played it again when I was like a teenager. I played it when I was young and I thought it was hard. That's because I was like bad at video games. But like playing it now, it's not necessarily like a, a cakewalk, but it definitely isn't as hard as I used to make it. Tropical Freeze I never played, so I can't really make much of that. My copy went to crap, so I can't try it now. I would have to load up my GameCube or just set up Dolphin to play it again. I think I would like to do Wrath of Cortex just because it's an important part of uh, nostalgia for me. It's a very important part of my childhood, so for that alone, I want to do it. I don't think it's a very good game comparing it to the other ones, though. But I would definitely like to replay it just for nostalgia's sake. At some point, though. Not for a while. Okay. Oh, yes. Alright, don't screw this up this time. Nailed it. There we go. Okay. Now comes the hard part, not dying before the tape. Easier said than done. Okay. Oops. A little later than that. Oh my good, that's so precise. You gotta have, like, you know what? Let's just get the blue gem. I've had my fair shake of Cortex Castle. Let's get this blue gem. Because I'll consider it accomplished if we get at least one trophy today. Where are you? I think it's a... Is it dragging on? It might be dragging on. We also didn't get all boxes here, but we're not going to be able to touch a box, which sucks, but well, whatever. This will probably be the last thing we do today. Yeah, shut up, Entropy. I don't care. So you have to beat this level without hitting a box, which is uh, a lot e harder than it sounds. And that essentially means no checkpoints. Entropy? Not en Entropy. Embryo. I, that's his name. I don't know why I said Entropy. Entropy is a thing, but I don't know why I said Entropy instead of Embryo. This is a throwback to something that happens in Crash 2. By the way, a bonus level of sorts. I almost hit those boxes out of, like... Consciousness. There are so many times we have to be like extra careful here. These dragons really blow. However, the good thing is, I can die, but the bad news is, it doesn't matter because you, you can't get checkpoints regardless. So you have to beat this essentially without dying because checkpoints are boxes. Also, what can happen is the enemy could spit on the box. That also sucks when it happens. When you're trying specifically not to get a box, it really blows when that ruins your track record. All right, don't hit a box. Don't go until the dragon's done. Alright, still so far so good. We haven't hit a single box. Oh, embryo. That was close. I thought it was dead. Alright, dragons. Dragons! Oh, I don't have the dark matter mask. That was close. I almost like fell to my doom because I thought I had the mask. Alright. This is fine. Still no box, which is good. It sucks because I can't get a Kuwa Kuwa either. That also blows. Hi there. Hi, Akano. Gonna use you to- Oh, dear. 
What was up with that jump? Oh, this level. Not even the level. It's just the fact that we can't hit a single box. I don't mind the triple spin, but would they have been too much to ask to bring back the sprint? Why couldn't they bring back the sprint? I feel like the sprint is better. Especially for time trials. I'm fine with the triple spin, but I like the sprint better. Oh dear. Ba -ba -bum. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Keep going. Don't get too cocky and do not hit a single box. Easier said than done. There's so many things can make you hit a box. That too is really tight. You have to like let go of your Econo mask. I've tried this level so many times. You're probably like, wow, Nova's a Nova's a really good at this game. Well, you're you're not wrong, I am. However, I've also tried this many times, so I kind of know the uh, certain beats of how to do it at this point. I've tried this so many times, but then I always get a box at the end. Excuse oh, oh, good, good, good. Because that was a mistake, and I'm glad that I was able to not be punished by it. Okay. Whoops. Don't do that now. Do this, though. All the way over there. Is that a hidden gem? No, that's just decoration. So you want to be careful because the Dark Matter Spin's range is a lot better than you think, so. Hmm. Alright. Never mind. It's not as bad as I thought. Go on. Don't be on your ways. I, I, I gotta pass. Thank you. This one's fine. They gotta wait for this. Man, Crash Force levels are a lot longer than the original game, which isn't a problem, but when you, you start to realize it when you have to go so long without either not dying or getting a single box. Okay. What's next? Am I even gonna bother with you? I think there are boxes in there, which is why I'm not gonna bother. The less enemies killed, the better, mostly because uh, you, can, you can get a box while you're killing the enemies. Hang on. I don't want to get this checkpoint box. Okay. Oh, dear. Don't bother with you. Oh, dear. That was close. Way too close. Let me pass. Thank you. Thank you. So far, so good. is tight. I don't think I'm going to be able to pass without gonging. I may have to go in this small window. Yeah. Okay. Hey, take, take a breath. Just take a breath. It'll help. Okay. I'm ready. A little breath. There. Perfect. Yes! Give me! Give me! Let's go! Give me that blue gem. Alright. Sapphire Acquire. Okay, cool. Persona? <laughs> I love that skin name. Because it references Persona. Alright, we got that. Um, Let me see something really quick. One more tape left. It's in Cortex Castle. How many do we do? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them are complete. There are twenty-one. We need nine more to complete. Eight of these, and then we need the last one from Cortex Castle. I think we're gonna wrap up here. We're a little over three hours. I think this is good. I'm hungry, and I think I'm just gonna go get something to eat. Oh, but yeah. Uh, that's it for Crash Bandicoot 4. Man, fun time. I love this game. I like getting the chance to play this every now and then. So, uh, 
Uh, there will be another Crash 4 VOD before SMT5 releases. I don't know when that'll be. Maybe like Monday or Wednesday or something. Either Monday or Wednesday, I think, we'll do Crash 4 again. And we'll do one more VOD before uh, SMT5 releases. So that'll be the plan. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I enjoyed playing Crash 4. So uh, yeah, uh, next time, if I remember, we'll just do... We'll, I, I don't know. I guess we'll go back to Cortex Castle and get the tape. I honestly might do it off screen. There's a small part of me that's like, I'll do it off screen. But I don't know. Maybe we'll go back to it, maybe we won't. Either way, I do want to start knocking out the flashback tapes. So we're going to start knocking them out either way. And that'll that'll be that. So yeah. Uh, tomorrow's Saturday. We're going to be back with FF10 tomorrow. Which means we're going to uh, escape Bavel and hit up the Calm Lands. And get pretty close to reaching the end game. But we're not going to reach the end. But we're, 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 we're nearing it. The main story at least. But yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, if I'm ready by Sunday, we'll do Luffy at 3 on Sunday if I'm ready. If I'm not ready, I guess we'll do FF10 again. It highly depends on me. And then Monday might be Crash, or Wednesday will be Crash. I don't know, Monday or Wednesday, but keep an eye on my Twitter or follow me on Twitch. Either way, I will, uh, that mind. Zyperados, thank you so much for following. Hope you enjoy this stream. Hope it was a good time. But yeah, uh, Crash will be on Monday or Wednesday. I'll figure it out. But if you follow my Twitch or my Twitter, I will tweet about it. So that's a good way to find out. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.